that we're supposed to be live. But I think we will be. Yes, sir, we are live. Welcome to this year's Griff's U.S. Open uh, 10 Ball Championship. I got the wrong logo up on my chat box. Let's fix that. But we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be here for two weeks, guys. I'm thrilled to be uh, to be streaming it for you guys, and uh, we're ready to rock and roll. First matchup on the on the stream table is Francisco Sanchez Ruiz versus the Shane Van Boning. That's all you got? Yeah, that's it. That's all you got for the first for the first matchup? That's it. SVB, FSR. With Molina Mike in the booth, too. I guess there was nothing else better to choose from, huh? <laughs> no. What is up? Good morning, everybody. Definitely not. Live from Griff's U.S. Open 10-Ball Championships. Two weeks worth of action here. Post up. Live with the streaming. We're going to be live on YouTube, live on Facebook. Make sure and hit the share button. Hit the like button. Get it out there, please. This is going to be 100% free for all you guys to be able to sweat. The All bracket, week. The bracket is on Digital Pool. I posted it on Windows Open as well. You guys can check it out from there. We'll try to put it in the chat box for you guys also. Let me just update the stream title. Make sure that we got it. Yeah, no frames dropped. Everything's coming through clear. Looking good, guys. We're going to get started. As soon as they start to lag, we'll swap to our other screen here. You want me to go tell them, give them a thumbs up? Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, why not? Why not? Nice, nice, nice. Dude, I am so excited for this week, guys. What's up in the chat? Eric, Jason Money, Brandon. Is that Brandon Lewis? Steve Griffith, good to see you, man. Been chatting with you and, and uh, Sandra as well. Good to see you. Sensei Nate. We got some good action coming to you guys all week this week. All, and next week. We got two weeks. We're going straight from the 10 ball. U.S. Open 10 ball for the next three days. Straight into U.S. Open 8 ball. Then U.S. Open Bank Pool and U.S. Open One Pocket. It's going to be a hell of a week. It looks like they're ready to get started. All right, guys, the stream is up now, so let's go ahead and get this thing underway. It is time. This is the hell of a way to kick off the U.S. Open 10 ball. This is the opening lag. Trying to hit that little bit inside, it looked like. Yeah, it looked like you put a little bit of side on that. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna let you take the lead for a second, buddy. I gotta make sure the thumbnails yeah, are yeah. ready, ready to thing. go. Yeah, do your thing. Do your thing. I gotta tell you guys, we got an outstanding field of world-class players. You got lots of hardware in the building, world champions, inclu including the newly crowned world ten-ball champion, and Carlo Beato is in the room. Um, yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun week. We're gonna have long days, but we are excited to bring you guys the coverage. And uh, I gotta I gotta tell you guys, Collins has been here since like you know, 4 or 5 a.m. So <laughs> working on just tying up loose ends and we're going to probably be out here till late in the evening. So yeah. this is the type of dedication you get and we are just pumped, man. So so pumped, dude. Just do us a favor. Share the stream out. Make sure you get as many of your friends that maybe are interested in pool having an opportunity to see it. So uh, and big shout out to all of our sponsors. Q-Tech Town, Michelle Griffin Realtor, um, what am I missing? One, one PKT. What am I missing here? I'm missing somebody. Griff's, of course. Mark Griffin for just putting all this together. None of this is possible without him. But opening break, alternate break. Early 10s do count, but they do not count on the break. So here we go. FSR. Man, how good can you hit him? Jeez. Holy crap. One ball gets tied up, though. Yeah. <clears throat> here we go. Here's your boy. Sitting and waiting. He looks thrilled. He, he looks, looks thrilled. He looks absolutely yeah. thrilled. He looks like he's about to, you know, ready to throw hands with Fran. The way, Dude, the way he's staring at SVB right <laughs> always looks like that, and I'm sure that has something to do with why he's so yeah. deadly at the table because he's ready to, you know, take care of business, man. This could very well be, be a final, so it's pretty cool that, uh, you know, this is the opening matchup. Nice yeah. little, nice little ticky safe there from Fran. I do want to quickly address early on in the day uh, our our situation with the overhead camera. Uh, unfortunately, the the ceilings here at Griff's are a little bit low for 
for a true overhead camera. So I've got our overhead here on a swivel in case we need to get look any info. Look at that, world class, two rail safe there, locked them up. Good shot there by SVB. Overhead looks pretty good though. Yeah, it looks yeah. decent. I mean, as long as as long as you know it's used appropriately, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. It's not your typical overhead camera. We don't have 30, 30 foot ceilings like the Rio here. So, what's going on, everybody? We got uh, Randy Walker in the chat. What's up, man? Janice Strope. It's been a while since I've seen you. Look at that shot. Wow, that was left creative. super jacked up. That was creative. You're never going offense here, <laughs> are you? Are you just coming off the side of the one and trying to put the cue ball to the left side of this cluster here? Right? Yeah, the left I'm, side of the four yeah, and the yeah. six or something like that? Yeah, for sure. And leave the one ball right there? You're never going offense right there. It's too close. I'll be back. i got to go check out a call. Okay. We will be playing the tunes all week as well. Over the top of the uh, the copyright music that's playing in the venue, hopefully. Oh, wow. What a shot here. He's going to leave an option with a jump cue, though. I think he might be able to go, go after this. What's up, Flip? Good to see you, too. Glad to be here, guys. Glad to see you guys in the chat. It's going to be a hell of a show, guys. Make sure you share the stream, especially with a matchup like this right out the gate. Holy crap. FSR is liable to make this ball and, and somehow use the 10 to get shape on the two ball. What's up, Chris? San Diego says, Collins, this is rad. Dude, I've been working on it for a while. I'm excited to show you guys some of the some of the stuff that we got, you know, uh, sitting in the uh, in the chamber for you. I had to go handle a call. They, they, they elected me to be the bad guy. What'd I do? No, no, no. There, there might be instances where it'll be handy to have a camera for, for some slow motion stuff if needed. Yeah, I think um, as the, maybe we can kind of. As the tournament progresses yeah, and it gets towards right, the end, it might come right. in handy, yeah. We have situations where it becomes like that. But we're playing um, cue ball fouls only. Right. So, um, and that was really the question that they had right there that I just left for. But ha still rack number one. Javier uh, in the chat asks, is there only going to be one table streaming? The short answer is no. I'll show you guys in a second here. He just called a pocket on this three, one ball. Three rail in it or off the three? Oh, I think he called the side pocket in case it went two rails in the side. He needs this ball to giddy up yeah, if he yeah, do doesn't want to leave it. Do something. Don't don't slow down, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to get a secondary table up on Windows Open. As um, far as the constant stream. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, Collins has got access to everywhere around the building. So... Um, we were just trying to make sure we get this first one up and going. Nice shot there from Fran. But a lot of content, a lot yeah. of matches. Yeah. A lot of uh, a lot of action. So let me actually cue you up real quick, guys, after this two ball shot, because I'm I'm pretty sure Francisco's gonna have some thinking to do even if he even if he makes the ball. He's going to have some thinking to do. And if he decides to play safe, Sh Shane's going to have some thinking to do. So, have, have you looked at the players list by chance? Uh, it looks, just looking around the room, it looks ridiculous. Who, uh, you want to do a little last longer? No. No? No, I don't do that, man. Oh, that's funny. Oh, you're such a square, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not when I'm streaming. I don't do it while I'm streaming. If I'm... If you ever catch me sweating in an event from the side, I might get involved in that, but not while I'm live. I like it. Yeah, me too. Just a quick check. Containing shot there. As Shane... Actually, Shane's going to... looks like he's going to move right away. What do you like here? I don't know. I, I don't like anything. I kind of like trying to drag it by the three. The that is, is so is tough cloth, to do because you're, you're moving like so fast in that direction. The, yeah. the window to, to lay in is so small here. It's yeah. so small. But he does have a rebate with the nine ball. Yeah. That that's the problem that you might leave a, I think some type of edge. jump or something or an edge yeah. yeah it's so hard because if you really want to get it all the way over you're going to put a lot of speed on there and then with the balls and the cloth and yeah let me 
he's got to go. He's just going to leave it. Still some growing pains here in rack number one. Trying to figure out this uh, opening rack. $10,000 added. Yeah. It's going to be, what, uh, th almost $30,000 prize pool, not including the side pots? Is right? that right? Yeah, because if it's a full field, $300 Ooh. per player gets into the into the prize pool. So that's 19,200, I think, 64 players. So that's 29,200. Is that all in your head right now? What? Well, I mean, come on. Matt, I mean Matt. Mike, I mean some people know how to do math. Well, okay. Excuse me, Mr. Fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Bank laid good, which Yeah, shape? and the cue ball for the 4. But Comes up, comes up short, pocket, though. though. I don't pocket. think he has a pocket. Yeah. What are you going to do here? You're going to think about it. It's a little touchy. I wonder if you can just clip the edge of it and then just leave the cue ball on the rail. But he looks like he's got other... He's looking like combo options yeah. here. He, he called it. it. Wow. wow. <laughs> Look at what is, what is it? <laughs> okay. That it's was, way too early for that combo. That was way, so romantic. I think early. I got a little bit... Uh, I got a little flutter by in my wow, stomach man. right there. Wow. <laughs> how, do we just, how did that just happen, man? <laughs> Are we best friends? Oh, so <laughs> Did we just become best friends? <laughs> yup. Oh, Yikes. Man. No Calcutta, just side pots, guys. They got a winner take all, and then they got a uh, one of the typical tiered side pots, yeah. like first top four, I think. How do you like the aggressive uh, shot there? I not I'm not really a fan it of it, but then, yeah. but then again, there might not have been many options. defensive options, yeah, yeah. so. Uh, with how it laid, it's a decent percentage, probably. So I mean, he didn't miss it by much, but and it is alternate break, which he is going to be on deck for the break next since Fran won the lag. Um, but yeah, he seemed a little loose. Maybe, maybe a little loose. Let's see what Shane thinks about it. I don't think they just redid this table. Like, you know, he's not he's not in love right now. That's for sure. He's not impressed. Look at the nice steep angle he has on the eight to guarantee that he comes close to the side pocket on the second rail. But he's not even close. That's like dead into the heart of it. Well, close enough to yeah. to get. Look at the line on the nine ball is what I was talking about. Team so Q nice. Tech versus Q Team Q Tech here. Is the bracket posted online? Yeah, it's on Digital Pool, guys. Search U.S. Open ten ball. I did post it on Windows Open as well. And, oh, I meant to put it in. That's what I meant to do. I meant to put it in the chat. I'll, I'll put it up in the chat right now, you guys, as well. So, uh, real quickly while he racks, I'll just give you guys a quick sneak peek on the rest of the room. It's actually this camera right here. We can access all these tables, guys, whenever we need to. Just put the uh, bracket there in the chat for you guys as well. So, Jason Clapp versus Jeremy Law. It's a pretty good matchup. That's an interesting matchup. Federer yeah. and Roland is pretty good as well. Yeah. Is Federer live on his YouTube? Uh, I don't know if he got live for the first round. I don't know. Hopefully he did. That's a pretty good match. That is a good matchup, yeah. yeah. All right, this is the guy who's been known to have a monstrous 10-ball break when it comes to using the template. He's hitting a nice square hit. A ball down. Q ball, ball gets kissed. Six ball shot. coming into play. Ten ball coming into play too. Wow. Looks like I got somebody on Facebook coming in with their uh, spam. I gotta lay down the hammer. Hmm. All right, Thor, relax. Lay the hammer down. Relax, buddy. Uh, all you uh, all you chat regs, please let me know if the if the room music is coming through too strong. I think I got the levels right though, where you guys can still hear the the room clatter. Oh, we can see an edge. Cue ball coming back down towards there. the nine. Look at this. Good. Hit that pretty well. I think that helped him out there getting that little yeah. rub on the nine. And the one is in this this cluster across the table there at the short rail that it's going to be tough to jump and control what happens especially considering how far away the six is maybe a little masse a little mini masse thank you josh music is fine thank you okay thank you guys thank you oh he can see it okay never mind it's a little touchy just given where the five balls at i think you want to hit the left side of the one but then it's gonna hold with the two sorry about that guys the little echo there 
Oh, it was you. You it wasn't spam, it was you. With the bracket link. You gonna ban me? I'm gonna I'm gonna pin it. Are you gonna ban me? I'm gonna pin it in just, the uh, just kick me off the stream, buddy. And I'm, I'm actually gonna copy the link. <laughs> And I'm gonna um, lay down the hammer over here. <laughs> and I'm gonna <laughs> pin it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. This just got awkward. Ten minutes in. Hell All yeah. Right. Sweet. We've been in Vegas now for. Well, I've been in Vegas for a while. Collins has been here for a few days, getting ready, and uh, we've been excited to put this on for you guys for the last, uh, I guess, two months. Really, is all we've had. It was a little less like than two like months, a month I think. And a half, yeah, month and a half kind of came together. That's when we wow. got the gig. Oh, beautiful! He's gonna get away with it too. Nice shot there. Well, maybe he's not gonna get away with it. I don't know. Shane doesn't love the line, but I wonder if he's got a potting angle to make it. Yeah, he's looking to see where he's gonna come back to. Yeah, I was feeling great line there from Shane. Two ball passes to five. Threes hanging by the pocket. You get him three ball here. Probably a rack winning shot. We got four events over the next two weeks, you guys. Ten ball, eight ball, banks in one pocket. If you love watching pool, make sure to hit the like, hit the subscribe button if you're on YouTube. Hit the share button. Okay. I think we got everything set, guys. Yeah? Deal. I'll put the chat right here for you, buddy. In case you want to see what's going on over there. Okay. So it's on this side of the screen instead. Here we go. Nice shot there from Shane. Great angle here on the, on the four ball. Oh, damn. Look at the comment What's Chris, that? from Chris Liu. I'm not going to read it out loud. Uh, ah. Yeah. <laughs> we see you there, buddy. Appreciate the love, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Look, we're here to have a good time. Yeah, we're looking, uh, we're looking to have some fun. We're two passionate guys. Collins has you know, got his, his uh, nerd gear out, and That's he's right. ready to just put out some content, man. If you're saying Mike needs to speak up, I can turn up his mic. Oh, sorry. My apologies. I got it. Okay. SVB going SVB mode in this rack. Yeah, you can see when he starts getting a rhythm, obviously it becomes more dangerous. But with that break, I mean, he's easily got to be a top oh. um, three favorite, I'd say. Yeah. You know, so. When when SVB came out to, uh, you were there at the Hard Times event, the Chuck Markoulis. Right. I mean, he was hammering. just hammering the ball. Right. The cue ball yeah. was laying, laying up in this region of the table. Every single time. Yeah, yeah. And the one ball was laying up either by this corner or by this corner, depending on which table he was playing on. And it was just, it was sick. I know Shane is Mr. Nine Ball now. I get it. But Ten Ball was his bread and butter I for know. a long time. A long time. He's updating his Facebook status right now. He feels good about that. More about it, yeah. That last uh, visit to the table feels yeah. good about it. He doesn't have the scrunched eyebrows, you know? Yeah. FSR just coming out with the pep in his step, as always. Focus mode. Dude, that routine. like this for, like, an open opening, like, morning match? Dude. Oh, you know what I mean? It's the nuts, I mean, dude. There's not, many, there's not many soft players here, but, like, to draw these two guys. I know. It's pretty... We were we were going through Brandon. Brandon comes to us with yeah. the, with the draw, and he's like, we had like us eight to first. ten matches to choose from. Yeah, and then and and Mike was like, oh well, it's obviously going to be Feder and, and Roland, and I'd like look two matches down, and I was like, did you see what's right here? Yeah, no, I didn't. No, no. <laughs> yeah. instantly vetoed, and for the right reason. Yeah, stoked. Now it doesn't get much better, man. Dude, Chris Snyder coming in with the 1999 super chat with the with the heart kiss. Emoji. Thank you, buddy. Really we're, appreciate it. We're giving you a heart kiss back, buddy. Appreciate you.
Rock and roll. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. You guys are hilarious. Yeah, that is the Put the new Talm Max rack. One second, let me I actually don't have a button for that one second. No. Let, me, let me add the button. Okay. Whoa, what happened? He scratched? Rut row. Look at you distracting us at the my right bad, moment, man, dude. My bad. Where is my there we go. Let me just double check. It's going to work here. We made it even funny. My bad. That is awesome. Well, <laughs> SVB getting a freaking gift here. Steve Griffith. Does that three ball pass the four, though? The three ball does not pass the four. So I'd he's going to almost be willing to bet. He's gonna we're going to we're going to try this treacherous overhead cam for two seconds, guys. Let's see. Mm, 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 mm. I don't think it passes. I don't think so either, buddy. I mean, I know it's new cloth and it's got a lot of slide, but I don't think you can get there. Might be trying to do something with it. No, no maybe not. He's, he's okay maybe it with does. it. Maybe it does. He's yeah, gonna he's hit calling. the. He's gonna hit the point of the pocket and try to roll it slow with I'll the new cloth. Take. Well, he would know how to hit it. If anyone knows yeah, how to yeah. hit it like that, it's this guy. Touch an inside spin. Touch a left spin, so it throws off the left hand pocket facing. And it doesn't go. Oh, it bit. It doesn't go. Mm. Mm. He was taking a gamble there. I mean, but using the experience that he has, you know, obviously he felt good about the shot. Right. They but that, that kind of shot is always a gamble, on the depending on the table conditions. It just Yo seemed like it was coming in real sharp. Yeah. yeah you yeah. know? Yo, Steve Griffith. Thank you, buddy. I just saw that. Thank you. Oh, wow. Did Big ball. ball. Big ball for him to hit, and he didn't even make contact. Wow. Wow. That, that's unlikely. It's the table conditions. Did it, it, I'm guessing he kicked long. Kicked too long? Yeah. Yeah. Table's slippery. Table is slippery. The rails are slippery. This isn't like that, uh, you know, that's, that's one of the things about the Predator cloth, like straight out of the gate, it's, uh, it, it grabs a ton, you know, like almost like, in my opinion, too much, but uh, opinions are opinions. Uh, as we all know, this, this Simonis cloth is, it's brand new. This went on the table yesterday. So it's as brand new as brand new gets. Yo, MOB Productions coming in with the 1999 as well. Thank you, buddy. Good to see you in the chat, Jack. Look at this guy over here on his phone. Stay busy working, son. <laughs> Stay busy working. <laughs> Are we already going to start no, like sneaking no. up like that? No, no? I wasn't sneaking I mean, up, I even man. heads up. I'm like, not you remember up. what happened last time in Sacramento. <laughs> all right? That's all I'm saying. I think it's way too early in the week to start those kind of shenanigans. Yeah. SVB is about to take a 2-1 lead. And I think, uh, let's see, the third game, so this was Shane's break then, I believe. No, this was Fran's break. So it's going to be Shane's break next. Yeah, so this game was big, Fran's big break, one. yeah. What do you, you like? Do you like uh, alternate break? Uh, n no, it's it's not typically my favorite, but I know the, the U.S. Open events here at Griff's have been typically alternate break, right? For right. like 10 ball, 8 and ball. That, every single game is alternate break, Well, right? that was so. the logic whenever we were going through and trying to iron out a few details, you know, is like what was what did Mark use in the past, right? This is his event. This is his baby. This is, you know, God rest his soul, Mark mark made sure that he set aside and planned ahead um to make sure this event happened for all those guys out there all those people right there is who we did it for all the players you know so um we wanted to make sure and just honor um what he had done in years past so here we go 2-1 svb to break god look at that square hit look at dude. that Look at the one ball just got kicked. The one again. ball's going a little bit yeah. quick actually up table. He's got to dial back the speed a little bit. I think he's going here. You think he's going? He's going. Well, there's nowhere to hide. There's nowhere to duck and cover, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And this is like this is what we're going to have for the next few days because I'm using a template. Yeah. Right? You're the gonna balls are going to be spread up. You're going to have big spread breaks. open, yeah. Right. 
Yeah. Just a heads up, guys, if you're watching and you're sending me messages. I've seen a number of messages in the last 10 minutes. I'm, I'm a little busy at the moment. <laughs> but uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Is he crossing this ball, or is he going to maybe go for a kick and stick and kick the one to the short rail? If it doesn't go. No, I think you play for shape here. I'm going to put some speed on this one. Hit it with some mustard. Holy shot. Yeah. Oh, it laid good, man. It laid wow. good. Wow. Is he on the wrong side here? No, he's on the good side. He's, he? he can punch forward, it looks like, with stun run through and punch past the 10, but he's, he's going to have to hit this yeah. at like a, a little eight and a half out of 10 speed. A little flat. Yeah. Little but he bit. can get there. I mean, Shane and Fetter and FSR, all them, all them guys shoot the shot so good. Look at there look at go. how much he gets out of the cue ball, yeah. man. <laughs> wow. This is when he's dangerous, when he can really let, let his stroke out. Yeah. Nice little two rail position. Both of these next two balls are going in the same pocket. Everything lays pretty good here. How does a bracket look for Shane after uh, after this? You know, I haven't looked at it at all. I'm going to end up getting it set up in our secondary page. I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves, yeah. but you know, how does it look for either one of these two guys? I should yeah, say. yeah. So it looks like let's see. I'm bringing it up right now in digital pool. Mark Estiola and uh, Fahad. I don't yeah. even want to pronounce the last name. It's who he plays the winner of. Also got Alex and this is Yuma an, Dorner. I want to see this kid play, man. This is an interesting opinion in the chat. Template rack really shows how much a referee tries to get them right, but they never do. These breaks will be much better with the template. As, in, as a compare, is I'm he going to scratch he here? Like, why didn't he go two rails? Look at how he immediately knew. Yeah. Did you see wow. that? He immediately yeah. knew. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't go well, actually three rails. Try to go three rails. But Maybe. back to, back to that comment. It's an interesting wow. opinion to have because the purpose, in a lot of people's opinions, of a referee rack is to have a more random outcome. Right. Uh, so whether or not the refs are, what would you say? maybe okay or, or or accepting some of the gaps that tend to show up in the rack yeah. because of that randomness. It, that's why I say it's an opinion well, because I don't think that they're, it, refs you're almost are, playing a different game. I don't think refs are ever thinking like, eh, that's, that, that's cool right there. I think they're just, it, it's, they're making the best of the situation. Yeah, they're trying to do know? what they can. Yeah, 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 exactly. Without, you know, it taking too much time, right? Look, I like, I'm a fan of moving, right? Yeah, me too. And so, even though some of these racks and other events can kind of be, you know, comical at times. Um, seeing, you know, big runouts or routine runouts or, you know, similar patterns can be, yeah, you know, a, a little tough sometimes. Yeah. But. So I would actually go as far to say then in the short race format like this, the race to seven, race to eight, this race is, to nine. Listen, I'm just coming off race to four. So you're telling me this is short. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get yeah. what I'm saying. On template rack race to eight and it's winter break you're liable to have situations where either of these guys could just run out the majority of the set i'm a tennis fan set. man so, so i like the holding serve factor of it right and how one sure. little mistake yeah. can make can make a shift like it was right there you know what i mean yeah. shane had a chance to take a two-game lead now it's it's uh it's all square going into the fifth game so right um i think it just adds weight because it's like you really got to hope you gotta yeah. execute. It's time yeah, to get yeah, there. It's, yeah. When it's time to break and run, mistakes it's can time be to magnified because you. It's a high high percentage. The guy's gonna make a ball on, on the break. break yeah. You know. So. Yep. Especially players of this caliber. So. Nice square hit again. Whoa! Oh, cue ball. Little slippery cue table. Ball. Little slippery table kept that follow on wow, the look cue at ball. This. No pocket on the, on the one. I don't think. Well, you can freeze into the back of the three real easy. Let me tell you, you can also, if you got a terrible stroke, you can sell out too. Trust me, all right? You think Shane's got a terrible no, stroke? <laughs> no, no, I meant me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He's about to be welded here, though. Whoa. 
Oh, okay, there you yeah. go. Oh, never okay. mind, never mind. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was like, like, he, he did hit it safe. like me. <laughs> I thought he was trying to play safe. He had a pocket. My self-esteem was going in there. It was going up for a second that until I saw the ball go in the hole. Nice shot there from Shane. Wow, real nice. Yeah. I like just a nice full hit. Just kind of drag it down if you can. You know. Uh, just like that. Early 10s are allowed. They are not allowed on the break. I kind of slid away from them a little bit there. Um, three foul, right? I'm playing three foul. I three foul, yeah. I should yeah, probably yeah. know this. It's 10 ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on the flyer, man. It's been a long week. I've been here for like... Was here for a few days, then I went back home, and then I came back for the end of the world. He is uh, championship. He is not thrilled. He's thinking he's going to overrun his cue ball here. I think because the six is a huge ball for no, the five. I think you can come two rails and get good on the, on the five. Play the five in the side, like this, yeah, or the corner, like or the corner either if you go too either, far. Either yeah, either way, either way, just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Is this the finals, Wayne? <laughs> Yeah, we just got this started, is, this buddy. This is the uh, last match of the of the day. Here, yeah, guys. yeah, yeah, yeah. After this, we're we're, we're calling done. it quits, yeah. guys. We're out of here. Yeah, <laughs> lunch break. All the way down, and get a nice hit here on the six and the side, and hold for the seven. Where do we send stream donations, and where do they go? Hey, thanks for the question. Uh, the the links are in the video description if you want to support the stream directly. Uh, got Venmo, PayPal, Cash App. Uh, obviously, it goes towards myself and Mike and and what we've done to uh, to get out here and get everything ready for this event. So everything you, you guys send is greatly appreciated. Big shout out to, you know, to Mark Griffin and the sponsors help make this happen. Whenever we reached out or they, we were reached out to see about doing the event, you know, I said, listen, the only way that we're going to do it is if it's free. You know, that's that's the only way that I know my man Collins likes to work. It's the only way that I like doing things as yeah. well. So um, we want to make sure and get as much pull as we can out to you. And thankfully, you know, we got enough support and along with was what was already a great foundation to make it happen. Yeah, so, for sure. Three, two race to nine. Shane's going to be breaking. Dude, I'm looking around. So we got a window, right? You guys can't see. It. We got a window here. where We can kind of see on the outskirts. And like it, all I see is just champion walking by. Yeah. Like just in the pool room, eleven o'clock in the morning, just champion, champion. Now look over to my right, and there's Collins and Uli sitting next to me. Yikes! Wow. Yeah. How good do I run? The panda. The panda. Sergio Rivas against Bayer. That's a pretty good matchup too. Sergio Rule, underrated player. Shane, ready to break. Shane's mechanics, man. I am yeah. both obsessed yeah. and. Like jealous. The Miz, we got this out of like Silence of the Lambs here, man. You're talking so soft? Am I? Check, check. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was Let it? me go. Hold on. Let's go back to our other thing here. Okay. I'll get it fixed. Do your thing. Love the transitions, buddy. Why did my music stop? We can't we can't afford to be having any uh I think you Any of that copyright you? music stuff. There we go. What was the question you asked me? Oh, yeah, microphone. I don't remember. Yo, look at this. Look at this. Oh, wow. No kidding, dude. That, that's the next round, right? That is the next uh, round of 10. I think. I'll be right back. Yep. Carlo and Albin later should be good. We just noticed Victor Zelinski and Aloysius Yap. Some serious matchup straight out the gate, you guys. I think my mic might be a little loud as well, guys. Brian Hart, what's up, buddy? Little interesting spot here. Difficult to deal with the five ball because the this five is covered by the seven for this pocket, so you can't roll past it. You got to play like 
perfect speed here to play the five this way in the side. Well, you know what I meant. Not, not exactly on that line. Stun run through. Punches it dead perfect with an angle to still... You gotta get that second, that second one up. Punch yeah. off the side here. Carlo and Alvin too. I saw that. I saw that. Ew. We gotta get something going. Jason Riley, what's up? Brandy Beckett, what's up? Welcome to the stream, everybody. Good morning. Dude, new cloth is so fun. New cloth is so fun to play on, so fun to watch. Single set, single, single elimination. No, it's double elimination. Races tonight on both sides of the bracket. What's going on, Chase? Wants that ball to come uh, off the rail. Andrew, I'm going to have to use the overhead sparingly. Just to gain information. It's uh, kind of a low ceiling here. It's not about technology. Trust me, I got the technology. I mean, we're... But this is as close as we can get. I mean, as far as we can get from the table. You got Filler and Max, next one. Yap and Victor. Carlo and Albin. Got a lot of, uh... It's ridiculous. Yeah. A ton of champions here. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <clears throat> the field is, is yeah. fantastic. Uh, did I update the score? No, I didn't. I don't think I did. Let me go back and check. No, I didn't. Perfect. On point, guys. <clears throat> Zoom out a little bit next time you go overhead. Otherwise, it's solid. I can't. I'm zoomed all the way out. That's my point. <laughs> I do my best, guys. What do you like here? Um, there's a roll-up shot here. It looks like you can get the one past the eight. If you can, that's definitely the shot. It's hard to tell. I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah, there's a roll-up shot. If only we had an overhead. If only. My eyes. I can't do it. My eyes. Sorry, guys. Dude. My eyes. He's looking to come in one rail, but I wonder if he's looking at hitting the face of the ball. Well, seven ball there, it's kind of tough. A little speed. Oh, a little soft. That's interesting. Did he call the ball? Oh. Hmm. That's interesting the way you hit that ball. It looks like we're going to get one, one step closer to back to tie game. Looks like he's looking to get underneath the eight to make getting back up table to the four a little easier. Yeah, you got some options here. Wow, uh, look out. No, we'll look out for what? Well, if it bounced any more, the eight ball would have gotten away, but he's good. This is looking pretty juicy. Oh, he called the six. Gotcha. That's what someone in the chat said. He called the six where? What do you mean? Two rail position. Good shot there from Fran. Real nice. Looks like. Oh. Let me 
see what's going on with the camera shake real quick. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Collins is going to go investigate that little motion in the ocean there with the camera. Got the door right by that, uh, right by the, the TV table. So as Collins was doing his mad scientist thing, we were trying to just troubleshoot some potential issues. And that was one of them. So anyway, glad all you guys are here hanging out with us. It's the opening round matchup of the U.S. Open 10 Ball Championships live at Griff's here in Las Vegas. The who's who of players are here. You know, with, with the exception of guys who were in the semifinals yesterday. I see no Grabe, no Oi, which that's, that's a surprise. But aside from that, great field. So thanks, everybody, for hitting the share button as Fran is about to get one game back. Let me see if I know how to update the games without dogging this too much here. Player one. Oh, there you go. There you go. 4-3 now. Uh, Nathan, it is not that tough here. I mean, you look, there, there's plenty of, of room to be able to sweat. Um, so, ton of railbirds here for sure. I'm going to try to get a secondary... Um, a secondary table up on windows open so we'll try to set up a camera and get that going for you guys as well because there's just going to be too many times where you're going to have more than one solid matchup um so we want to give you guys as many options as we can it won't be any commentary or anything like that but just something at least for you guys to sweat as svb breaks the ball cue ball does not get kissed this time and look at the way the one dresses up it's the first time that didn't happen so um Jackie, I did see a message earlier about Sky and them doing a little show. So that was pretty cool of Ashley and them. Um, I'm going to try to talk to Sky whenever he gets back in a few days because he did tell me he's coming back to Vegas. I usually, um, I meant to talk to him a few times. It seems like that whole situation got like progressively uh, worse. But at the same time, I try to let like the emotions kind of um, simmer a little bit before I talk to guys when it comes to situations like that. So um wow look at that that ball widened out big time and he's he's good but he was flirting there for sure um but yeah i'm gonna try to do you know still do some podcasts and stuff from here do a lot of player interviews get some other content we'll have a bunch of great people hopping by in the booth and hanging out with collins and um so was it shaking much while i was gone no it was not shaking okay. buddy good, good. what happened i just think that the um the curtain had been like kind of tucked up around the pole. Oh, so okay. The door was opening, it was shaking the pole. I gotcha. Yeah. Wayne, that's how I'm running it for myself. No bathroom breaks. Oh, yeah. No, we made it up. We told those guys. Yeah. yeah. That's not, we're not even giving warnings. Just Should, we're just throwing yeah, them out, yeah. of the, throwing don't, them out of the building. Don't make Collins come out there and pull out the yellow. You card. don't want to. Yeah, no. <laughs> the sheriffs are in town, and That's we're right. and we're sitting right here. Yeah, we don't mess around. So we're in Vegas, you know. That's right. Swim with the fishes, kind of stuff. Yeah, you know. We ain't playing that game. Excuse me. Five to three. Five three race to nine. Opening round matchup, world, or not world, U.S. Open 10 ball championship. Where are you going? Thanks. I'm going to go get some water, too. All right, buddy. Can I get you anything? Yeah, another Arnold, Arnold Palmer. Palmer. Please. Just take that. Yeah, yeah, please. Don't mind. Thank you. Whoop, let me see if I can switch over to... Whoop, bear with me here. Okay. Hang tight. Whoa. There we go. Sorry. I'm... Uh, I'm learning here. Golly, he put... He hit that ball hard. Three ball down. He's going to get a shot on the one ball as well. Starting to figure it out a little bit. You call this a shot on the one ball? He can back cut the one. He can back cut it, but that yeah. seven and eight, the four, there's a lot of traffic here. 
No, no, no. You don't think so, huh? No, I think he'll be all right. I think he's gonna come. I mean, he's gonna try to come around like probably three rails, but I think he would end up pretty good. I think. What do I know? Listen, you don't get a name of a show called Dog in It for a reason, buddy. All right. Yeah. I want to just zoom out a little bit, man. Can you? I can't do it. Oh. I can't. Yeah, it looks like the angle wants to go right into that. Yeah, you can tell he's eight. not. He ain't in love with it. That's for sure. Honestly, the one the overhead's really just going to come in pot in handy for one pocket. Yeah. Much yeah, later yeah. Later in the week, and potentially some eight ball situations, but ten ball is typically such an open layout, especially with template rack, that it's going to be uh, yep. it's not as useful or as required. I might say. Look, he played it with inside. That, oh, oh my scratch? god! Sorry, 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 guys. Oh, yeah. oh! I dogged it right there. Speed kind of got him a little bit there. Yeah. This is not an easy shot at all. Yeah, without getting like uh, too far off topic here. I know we're talking matches, but I see a lot of the comments in the chat. You know, things like that, they got quotas to meet. And you got quotas by certain countries. And I can tell you that North America had a quota to meet. Um, I talked with... Shane Tyree, who is uh, the president of the BCA, and um, Shane had gone out in that same round as Sky, and I said, well, "Why didn't you go and test, you know, SVB?" And he said, "Well, my tester wasn't here yet, you know, because Shane Shane's match ended, and it did. It ended quite a bit earlier than Sky, so um, logistically, it just didn't work out. But the timing of it was was no bueno. So, anyhow." Sky will be live on that, looks like, in, the, in tonight or tomorrow. And uh, we'll make sure. And he'll be back playing in the, I think, 8-ball, Banks, and 10-ball. Oh, no, sorry. 8-ball, Banks, and 1-pocket out here, I believe. Wow, he went after the bank. He's in trouble here. He went after the bank. He's, yeah. he's not only in trouble here in this rack, but now he's in trouble in this set as alternate break. It now becomes impossible to win if... if uh, if, if uh, SVB holds serve if he gets out here. Well, Shane's only had, like, I think, one break and run, I believe. So, I mean, you got to hope to get a little lucky after sure. the post, you know, after the break. Sure, sure. With your friend. Hey, He's coming hey, in Richard, hot, man. He's Richard, in Allison, hot. Lawrence Frampton, and Janice Strope. Thank, thank you, guys. Not what he wanted, but Shane's going to be all right here. I think he's just going to pinch it back a hair. You think he's going to bank the five ball? I don't think it goes in the five very You don't think it goes in the side? side? Very easily. Well, then if it, don't, if it doesn't, then for sure he's making the five. But I'm, I'm assuming he can play it in the side. He don't like something, though. He don't like that. With where the six is, it's not very pretty, I don't think. Hmm. Because the six is kind of covered by the ten, you got to come back to like. Uh, I mean, you could have showed me the side view before I made that comment. You got to come back to like here to you make know what the I mean? six. You know what I mean? And then, and then yeah. with where the five is right there, it's real difficult well, to then, get down over. I here. like just holding it then. Just make the ball, hold it right there, and play then the bank. Play the get bank. Yeah. Get beneath the the ten yeah. over here, right? Yeah. It'll be a massive favorite to make that. The bank, yeah. 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 I don't think it's where you wanted to be at with it. But yeah, it looks be like right. the cue ball is going to want to get yeah. real low here. You have to come two rails now. I don't think you can just hold. I don't think you can hold it. That's what he's thinking about. What about going around the six? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This way, two rails. Come out. Right. Yeah. Right. That's what I like there. Ooh, he wow, drew the, drew ball. the ball. Wow. Well, okay. Stop it, man. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go home. Stop. Because I don't know what I'm doing in here. <laughs> what a shot! <laughs> nice dude. shot there from Shane. That was really, really yeah. next level smart. Because because if you hit it with draw, you can hit it with a little bit more speed, right? If you're hitting that with the out with the the follow and outside spin that it takes to throw the bank to the pocket, you're gonna lose the cue ball. I think I think you have to hit it too hard. Well, I mean, he didn't exactly have it on a string there. I mean, he got great, but you know, it was a little little dicey. Yeah. 
I just bit. think I think that he was using the the fact that he was hitting it harder with draw to to shorten yeah. up the bank. Just gonna kind of drag this ball over, maybe draw it back a little bit. He's really bearing down here, man. Yeah. You know. Well, he's, he's really... got the finals. You know what I mean? He's. In well, this is mind. this isn't the finals. This is the opening round. Oh, buddy. sorry. Yeah, my, I my mean, it could be it could be a final. My apologies. <laughs> There's a good chance we may be seeing these I'm two saying, in the though, next right? three days, though, for sure. You know what you know? I'm saying, though. At the end of the three days, it, I should. It feels say. like a final, man. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, without a doubt. Hiya. Bingo. Bingo is right. And he's got the break. Oh, man. Brutal. Rut row. That's all you can do with your friend. Just make sure you have an extra water yeah. bottle on hand. Look at him. He's, he's drinking plenty of water now that they're, they're not worried about bathroom breaks. Well, I got to tell you, <laughs> we're going to start handing out, uh, handing out some tests here in a minute. Both these guys are sponsored by our title sponsor for the event and QTech. Big shout out to them. Super supportive. Coming through in the clutch for us. Oh, by the way, I got like four cues to move. Three cues to lost move. I the cue ball there. Look at this. He did. But this, this is what I was telling you before, right? It's like he is his run out and the way the cue ball was getting away. So yeah. he can. I think he can get to this one ball. I think you got to go for the the swerve. At the worst, you got to go for the swerve. If the jump is there, you're jumping. If the rail first is there, obviously you're playing the rail first. I think you got to go after it. Unfortunately, the three sitting right there, which is going to slow him down. But you can't just. There's nowhere to push. You got to roll ball the dice here, in buddy. The you got to go. We're in Vegas. You got to go. Yeah. He's jumping. You have to. Oh my God, he's he's going to jump. The cue ball is going to land like here. It's going to be so tough to control this ball. I need to like catalog these. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta put a button on my stream deck actually. Yeah, I have a twenty second buffer, man. It'll save all the all the videos. Okay. Am I gonna be able to pull those? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Here we go. Going airborne. Wow! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! How are you roll? Maybe How are you rolling? A little jelly roll. He's good. Though. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, jelly roll, for sure. He hit it great though. One more shot, and he's he's gonna get the seven. Music's getting a little hypey for me. It's, it's a little early. I'm going to get yeah, to the next song I, for I you was guys. thinking the same thing. The exact same thing. Next song for you guys. We're on an automatic playlist with this uh, music service Coming I Way use. too hot. Way too early for it. And uh, next song, a little too quiet. Yeah, this is okay. <laughs> Someone in the chat, uh, Kabayan, can't see your whole name, says, wow, another tournament? Hell yeah. Did you say the hell yeah part, or did he? I did. Ah. Ooh, two ball wow, doesn't stayed quite. Up. Did, he, did he nudge the table a little bit? Did he give him the hip thrust? I think he did a little bit. Yeah? Can you replay that? <laughs> well, I tell you what, if you're... Francisco's gotta gotta get this game. Let me see. Wow, you gotta mess it. Whoa, we barely hit that, but he got it down nevertheless. 
He's going to come with another thin hit. He wants to get back where he's at right now with the cue ball. He's got to come two rails to do it. What happened? Did he? You. I'll show you. It's great. If we do that other one, would there be a way to do what this you're doing with the music? No. No? Uh, you have to, you would have to pay for the service and, and it would be a little bit more difficult to set up. But I mean, I can show you how. Not today, but maybe we can do it for another day. It just takes too much time. Like with the inside spin, little check side. Here it is, guys. Watch, watch his hip. <laughs> <laughs> play it over here. Can you play it on another screen? It's on YouTube now. No, I played it on. Oh, just by itself. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Out there from Fran. One more time. Give him the hip. Got one back. Six to four. Where is this U.S. Open tournament being held at? You can see the, the graphic in the top right of your screen right there. Griff's Bar and Billiards in Las Vegas, Nevada. Beautiful room. Legendary room. Check it out. Look how we beautiful got, the decor is. We got 10 tables in action this morning. The next round is going to be juicy. Next up on the TV table for you guys, we're going to get Albin Ocean against the world 10-ball champion. Carlo Beato is up next. Yes, sir. Let's have some of that. Ball down. One ball dresses up in front of the side pocket. Four ball a little bit tied up with the seven, but three ball on the good side of the table to, to play the four ball in the bottom right. Oh, he didn't make a ball. I thought he made a ball. I thought I saw a ball going immediately. Surprise, you're the mathematician of the group. <laughs> I, you know? You trying to say I can't count to I'm ten? I'm just saying. You made it a point to make me aware earlier. Well, all of a sudden that went from a real good break for Francisco to a real absolute good. disaster. <laughs> It turned a little bit. And the only one in the room that thought it was good for Francisco was me. That's embarrassing. Just giving you guys some updates. Daniel Maciel defeats Mark Vidal 9-1. to one. John Mora 9-0 over Henry Good. Fahad takes a forfeit over Mark Estiola. That's interesting because Mark was, on, Mark was here. Mark has been here for a while. So that's surprise he didn't show up. Was this tournament seeded? How are these guys matching up already? No, this is not a seeded tournament. These tournaments are treated like a true open, true U.S. Open. Um, no, uh, no invitations, no seeding. Just buy-in and random draw. Hey Ty, thank you so much with for the uh, the twenty dollars super chat coming in, guys. Best way to support the stream, just so you know, guys, uh, is is directly through uh, Venmo, PayPal, Cash App. YouTube does take a decent sized cut of the super chats, um, oh, but everything is appreciated. Look at this, and he's gonna get a jelly roll. Hit it super thick, straight into the short rail, and uh, gets a jelly roll out of it. He's looking at it. I don't know if he can make the ball, Collins. No, no chance. Maybe there's a chance. 
Can you throw it, maybe? Is it one of them that you got to throw? He's looking at it. No. Jump half the 10 ball or a quarter of the 10 ball? It's too far. It's too close to the object ball. Even if you swerve into it, the six is on the other side of the table. How do you get around traffic? You can't. Is, is this score right? Four, six? I'm just curious because this is a big game then. It might be four, seven. I thought it was four, seven, but I'm just, maybe you guys would know better. No, I got it, guys. Sorry about that. We started talking about the room. Sorry about that, guys. It is currently six to five. No, six, no, no. We got it right. Is Scores it? right. Okay. Scores right. Don't, oh. don't do that to me, man. I keep you on your toes, buddy. He's going to get away with it again. Is he? Nope, he is not. Yeah, they got live scoring on Digital Pool. I'll hold that up on the side. So we can always reference if, if you have any questions. Instead of trying to make me look bad. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Is he going after this? He can see the shot. He can see the pocket. Look at this shot from Francisco Sanchez Ruiz missing all the traffic and getting nice and close to the six ball, making it easier to manage getting on the seven. What a shot. Corey C.R. Buke in the chat says, somebody has to do it since I have to go home. Corey hangs out with me a lot at hard times when we go live at our homeroom. Big shout out to Corey Buchanan. Yo, Patrick Neal, what's up? That's right, I'm not in stroke yet. Not in streamer stroke yet. Nine ball, dressing up over the side as well. Little bit of love. No, we play out of, I normally play out of Hard Time Sacramento. That's where I normally stream out of too as well. We do weekly streams out there. Just like it's a hanger, guys. Shoots the three rails, the three rail position like it's a hanger. FSR, getting things just that much closer. And updates the score. Comes and sits down. Wave at the camera. He doesn't know he's here. Vamos! Hey, big shout out to all the love you guys have been sending. I really appreciate it, guys. We really appreciate it. James Albright, thank you. Yo, JD. JD, John Daniels sending the ridiculous amount of love. Thank you so much, John Daniels. Richard Allison as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And big shout out to Tad Turner as well. Thank you. Here we go. Off the break. SVB in a little bit of a pickle. Deciding where to push out to. Man, out of anybody that I've ever watched, when this guy pushes out, it's so... It's always so effective. Who was it that says... Uh, I forget which pro it was that I recently heard said that they looked at this. Oh, it was it was a, a YouTube video by Niels Fine, I think, talking about the push out, and he says like statistically, when you push out, you're putting yourself at a three to two disadvantage or something like that, or, or maybe even a worse disadvantage than that. 
or three to one maybe. But when Shane pushes pushes out, he he's so effective in <clears throat> pushing to an advantageous situation. I don't know about this one though. This is ultra tough. It looks like he was more excited about the push before he walked back to the table. <laughs> Pardon me. Look at this shot. He's so good at controlling. Guys, when you play safe, normally I'm I'm thinking Control one of the balls. I'm either trying to control the object ball or trying to control the cue, the cue ball and lay one of those two balls in a very specific spot. SVB is a master of being able to control the speed of both balls because on that particular shot, his window of error with the one ball was, what, like here? Like this big? And the window of error on the cue ball is like this big. So when you try to control both of those balls into those... The, you know, that small of a window, it's really difficult to do. He makes it look so easy. He's leaving a look, and it's going to be pretty easy for... Oh, he didn't get a rail. Oh my gosh, he didn't get a rail. Even if he did get a rail, it would have been pretty easy for SVB to... Uh, to do something or maybe he missed the whole ball sorry i was talking to you guys in the chat here we go still waking up still getting in streamer stroke here guys beautiful beautiful spot for the cue ball here on the uh the three i think he's he's gonna go thin enough into the nine where he should be able to follow past the nine here just clip it yeah have an open shot on the floor. It's so close to the corner. Took an intentional foul and tied to tie, tried to tie up the 3-9. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That is the one uh, the one weakness when I that I have when I'm running the whole show and running all the cameras, too. I do miss some of that stuff. So thanks for keeping me honest. Keeping me in the game. Keeping me on the rail. SVB is going to step aside here for a second, it looks like. <laughs> looking around like like what's going on here <laughs> well Las Vegas here we go <laughs> oh snap you guys in the chat <laughs> oh that was great he's like get out of here man What's he doing? You're on TV, buddy. It's time to move. No, no, no. We'll call him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we doing? Okay. Let's let's roll on out, buddy. What's going on over here? He just rolled right through all the tables. All right, guys. If you guys are here as spectators, make sure you stay out of the tournament area along the ninth foot wall. <laughs> look at the chat. The what the fuck is going on? No, look at the chat. What is it? <laughs> Predator shit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you guys. You guys are so funny. I love it. I paid that dude. There we go. SVB in the lead, 7 to 5. What are you doing, buddy? Sorry, just sitting on my wife. You gotta keep the door closed. There's too much noise leaks in. <laughs> Dude, I love you guys. You guys make this so fun. Uh, Fetter update. The, the scores are live on the bracket, guys. If you want to follow the live scores, go to digitalpool.com. I post the bracket link in the video description. On, and it's it's pinned in the comments on Facebook. 
It's in the video description on YouTube, pinned in the comments on Facebook. You can see all the live scores there. Uh, I'm looking at the bracket right now. It looks like between Federer and Roland Garcia, we're looking at a score of 5-5 five to five in a race to 9. John Mora finished his match 9-0, to zero, lickety split. Same with Mario He, 9-1, to one, already finished his match. Uh, we are live here in Las Vegas. Those of us, uh, or us on the mic, we are, uh, I can actually show you after Shane takes his shot here. Trying to draw across the table and, and hold a nice angle on the two ball. Two ball's so close to the side pocket, though, it's easy to manipulate the cue ball. Guys, we're way back here in the booth. You can't see through the window. That is uh, Command Center. Post up Command Center. Okay. <laughs> you got, they're still going off yeah. about the scooter. You guys are hilarious. Okay. Back in business. Four ball obviously passes the seven and eight. What's he going to do with the 7 and 8, though? How long is this stream? We're going until... Uh, we'll probably be live until, gosh, 10, 11, maybe midnight. Depends on how far we get through the bracket. We're trying to finish this tournament in three days. But we've got uh, 10 tables to work with in a 64-player field. So it might even go later than that. I refresh the stream every six hours. Every six hours. So... Interesting, interesting spot here to uh, maybe try to draw to the left hand, left hand side of the six ball. What's he gonna do with a seven ball here? Draw two rails into it? Imagine. Or just nice one rail shot. to the good side. Wow. Chirino. Draw. I think. Oh, you think he's got a lot of angle? Yeah. Draws two rails to the 10. Gotta love the slick cloth, man. It's so fun to watch. Get to the hill. Yeah, this puts him on the hill. This is massive. Oof. Holy, whoa, use whoa, every whoa, inch whoa, of that whoa, pocket. Whoa, whoa. And in the meantime, Mr. Franny, just organizing his cues, just taking a look at the equipment. Look at this gorgeous room, guys. just absolutely crushing the break 
and gets no love out of it. No ball down. Is the one ball tied up on the eight? I mean, the cue ball? Tough to tell. Tough to tell even from this angle if you can see the one or not. He went after the one three combo. It's a reach there. Yeah, maybe yeah, he's just reach. feeling like he's, you know, he's trying to convert on SBB's break. We just know how hard it's going to be to get, you know, to be able to yeah. do anything, you know? especially with with SVB on the right. hill and its yeah. alternate break. You're, you're trying to make something happen for yourself. You got to press. They eat that yeah. thick. Hits it thick, but look, look at. Uh, I, I'm sure he doesn't mind. No, <laughs> no, no. Wow, what are you going to do here? You can't bend. You can't bend the ball because the four's in the way. You know what I mean? Off of the yeah. the point near the side pocket. So it's always going to go long if you miss the four. So you got to go off the left hand long rail and try to. Maybe he's calling in the side. He's just going in full into the ball here, guys. He's going full into the ball. He's not trying to come across it. And, and oh my god, he killed the cue ball. Nice shot there. Holy crap! What a shot. That's a hell of a shot. I gotta go back and watch that myself and see how he did that. It looked like he put spin on it to kill the cue ball when the cue ball hit the short rail after the one well i think this is, this is a this is a safety battle that fran needs to win here yeah you got to really just take it as it comes but you got a bit of a a big opportunity here now that you can see and do a lot with the cue ball that's it's, that ain't gonna work Good cue ball, though. Well, the chat is saying that he missed the combo because he hit the eight. Like real thin. Interesting. I missed that. The chat sees all. Let's see if the chat is right. I wonder if you can try to go by the eight six here. Oh no. Split it. Half ball hit. Split him on the 10. No, he didn't hit the eight. <laughs> Definitely not a foul. the side pocket here so he's kicking two rails one rail behind it he's swerving behind it swerving ben little twist oh, he ain't gonna gets like a this. hold of the ball but cue ball is going to end up on the long rail here this is a tall order here well that's the only plus of the shot right there is getting that cue ball on the rail this I'm, is a tall order i kind of like just sitting it flat sending the cue ball by that six three and letting that one ball bank down table you mean sending the one this way yep and the cue ball this way? Right. That's what about good. following the, the one, but then banking the one like this, and the cue ball kind of follows that path up into and this area? Hit it with left, then? Yeah. Yeah. He's drawing the cue ball. Or, or let's just it. spear in the one ball and get yeah, tabled two. Yeah, spear the one <laughs> ball and, and draw off the eight or something? <laughs> yeah. <What>? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, too. You like yeah, the, yeah if, sure. If you like running out. <laughs> no, you you'll know? be fine. Yeah. Everything will work out. Yeah. I think he likes your shot. He just looked at your shot. It doesn't lay good for any of the shots, honestly. It lays. It's it's a funky position because of how much traffic there is everywhere. Yeah, I mean you're rolling the dice for sure, but I just think that that's the the better of the two. But oh, just ticky it then. Okay. 
so hard with the cloth, you know? Oh my god. Yeah. The one's real close to the rail. You got kick and stick options. You've got... Either way, you're making contact. Can he see the ball? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he can see it. He's, he can oh, see he double the cross. Kissed it. He double kissed it. Did he call the ball? Yeah, he called the ball. I don't oh, think he double kissed it. I think he went clean. Look, look good. Uh, either way, if he called it, he's good, and he's gonna be on the three ball here momentarily, in a game that Fran, that Fran needs. It's questionable. It's close. Maybe maybe he did get a little lucky there. No. I think it's cool. No. We've seen funny things happen before. Mm-hmm. That was the old Mark Wilson. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Don't do that to me. Did he get? Okay. This isn't any better. That'll do. That'll work. Pretty straight here. He'll be all right. Just he's got options. Stun it over. It looks like oh, maybe you're right there. <sighs> I don't know. How do you like this one being down eight five? Yikes! If you can get to the short rail, it's fine. You know what I mean. But if the scratch is in play, yeah, it is treacherous. Even if you're hitting the long rail before like, you hit the short rail. I mean, clearly he's thinking about tough. the way that he's. But if you can get to the short the rail. Ball. If you can get to the short rail for free, it's it's really good. Just gotta take your medicine here, I think. Just make the ball. Yeah, take your yeah, medicine. The scratch was laying, you couldn't get there. Right, yeah. I like that because it's you give yourself a shot, you know? Yeah. It's not ideal, but at least you're at the table on the eight ball. So you gotta come come with it here to survive still. Eight five down, opening round at the US Open ten ball championship live from Vegas. You hit it good. Wow. Uh, for those of you asking about the music that we're playing, that goofy music we're playing so it covers the copyright music so the copyright police don't come after us and shut the stream down. Uh, the venue is playing copywritten music. But we try to set everything at a level where you can still hear the balls on the table and, and a little bit of the room chatter. 8-6 and breaking if he and can breaking, if he yeah. can if he can get a break and run or at the very least win the game then you're nipping at the heels yeah of Shane. you're putting pressure on Shane yeah. and all of a sudden he's not allowed to make a mistake tons of great matchups going on in the room up next we're going to be showing uh Albin Ocean versus Carlo Beato and I think I'm going to try to set up a little little secondary janky stream for uh, Victor and Yap. Yeah, we'll try to get something set up. So, a lot of great matchups going on, and uh, we just want to give you guys the most that we can. Look at that break, and nothing's going to go down unless he gets a four-railer, and he doesn't. Oh, man. The one-ball bank lays up, wow. and the two balls tied up near the 10. The one ball bank lays up, and the only way to get why not to the go for the four? Why not go for the oh, four? Oh, the carom on the four. Yeah, yeah, I like playing the four ball. Yeah, yeah. Then you get it's easier to get back to the two as well if you leave yourself straight. And I think you can get a good enough hit. It's close enough where you can control the one pretty well. Oh, and I didn't see the seven. Where the seven come from? The bank isn't on. I'm just blind eyes. Look at his face. He doesn't like it. He's calling the four ball though. It's go time here for Captain America. He's got to draw it into the four. Yeah. Nice oh, shot. No, no. Well, but he's no. good because now we can come back for the two ball. I mean, he didn't the hold angles, the one the way that he yeah. liked, but you can come one rail out This, for this it. angle's pretty tough with where the nine's sitting. The nine is a yeah. big ball.
I mean, all maybe put a touch of check side, just to just a to hair. Kinda, yeah, yeah, a hair, you know. Or play it off the second rail then, if you if you want to really just get into a better spot. See one come come into that second rail and it holds the line yeah, a little better yeah, for yeah. you, you know. Now you missed the ball like this earlier, Collins, and it was yes. a, it was more of a steep angle than what what this is. But I wonder if yeah he's he's gonna make sure he finds the exact spot he wants to hit. Massive game here, opening round. Oh, oh, oh! Hit it good, buddy. Yeah, he hit it good. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. You can just stop the rock here as well. He's gonna bear down. If you guys haven't already, hit the share button because we got another heavyweight first round matchup on bear. deck. On deck, two world champions, including the most recent one, Carlo Beato. Nice full hit. I like the five ball being off the rail there because it makes it just a little bit easier to put down. He's going to probably come out, I'm guessing, two rails here just because of the angle that he has. Or just draw out of it if you're Shane. Yeah. If what you're do Shane I know? What on do brand I know? new cloth, what do I know? the game is easy. It's game set and... and match actually that phrase only applies in the predator format and you went there huh it would be, it would be game you, and match you went there huh because there's only one set per match you want me to see if they want to do a shootout or something or maybe we can ask them so we ought to do it for the finals maybe just say hey listen we're not playing any more break and runs but Just we are going to get a little concession from Francisco. And that's it. In the first set, SVB wins. Nine to six. Break him down. Let's go take a quick look around the room while we get set up for the next match, guys. At our U.S. Open 10-ball championship. Big shout-out to our sponsors. Uh, Michelle Griffin Realtor, 1PKT, Fast and Loose Designs, Diamond Billiard Products, Town with the Max Rack. And of course, our title sponsor, Q Tech. And shout out to Griffs for putting on such a great event at a great venue. Let's take a quick peek. Why don't we at. Uh, You know what they're calling the match already? I got to set up the scoreboard. Give me just a moment, guys. The swap taking place down there. Alvin already getting ready to hit some balls and get loose on the table. Take a peek over at uh, this interesting match here. Jason Klatt, Jeremy Long. I wonder what the score there is. Pardon the camera shake. Can't quite see. Looks like someone's got five there. Jeremy Long has five. Looks hot in the room. It's not. We got we got plenty of air conditioning in here. I'm going to make this prettier as the days go on. I've got plans, guys. I know it's kind of a, a dingy room. 
But mainly the webcam is here for this chair uh, right here. In case we get anybody in here on the mic with me, you guys can see their personality, see who we're, we're talking to. You know, uh, Fetters told me that he's planning on stopping in the booth for an hour or so every, every few days or so. Uh, and we're going to try to get whoever in here that we can. So I'd really like to get to know some of these guys on a, on a, you know, more, uh, what would you call, not like a personal level, but like, yeah, just get to know who they are and what makes them tick a little bit. You know what I mean? Uh, this is the other side of the room. It looks like we've got, uh, major pain there in a match. Oliver Ruger. And was that Alex I saw on the last table down here? That is... Alex Pagulian in a match down there at the end. Let's see if these boys are uh, still getting warmed up here on the feature table. Who's next on the main table? We've got Albin Ocean and uh, Carlo Biado. Yeah, total prize pool, Ike, you're correct there, I believe is uh, 29,200. Sounds about right. The Lion is up 7-4 to four in his match. Thanks for the good info, guys. Big shout-out to Ricard Robbins. Thanks for the uh, love on Venmo, man. Go, Carlo's gonna take his chance to hit some balls here. <laughs> What's up, Brandon Boatman? Good to see you, man. And Alex Crossman, a couple of the uh, the locals there from Sacramento. Good to see you guys in the chat. Here we go. We can take you guys just to watch the warm up here with the scoreboard in place. Oh, wait a second. Turn off studio mode. Here we go. Carlo is in stroke. I can't wait to see how he's breaking on this table with a template rack. It's probably going to be disgusting. It's probably going to be absolutely ridiculous. Look at this cue ball. Look, look at this freaking cue ball, man. Into the window. Into the window between the three and the rail right there. Like, no hesitation, dude. Center of the pocket. Runs into the five. Normally I say calculated as a joke, but I'm pretty sure that was calculated. Holy hell, this is going to be something to watch, man. Watching from Micronesia. It's 7.20 a.m. here on Monday. Welcome from Micronesia, Feliciano. Thanks for joining us. How many players are going to be considered residents of Nevada after this month? Good question. Let's leave the chat on, actually, while we've got these guys warming up, guys. We can do that. I can make the chat just a touch bigger as well, so you guys can make it a little bit more readable. We've got uh, people in the chat from both YouTube and Facebook. That's why we show it on screen sometimes, so everybody can be involved in the conversation. Looks like we're actually getting ready to lag right now. Good luck to the players. First round matchup. Hell of a draw. Let's see how it goes. starting already just now just lagged carlo won the lag okay. eight six rolling eight seven rolling against fetter yeah. Ups, upset alert it doesn't get much better than this though well i mean you know you start off with shane and fran and you think it doesn't get much better than this and then you have uh and then you have Carlo Biotto versus Albin Ocean, two guys who just know yeah. how to win, know how to close. Yeah. Obviously, Carlo. Obviously, Carlo. He was he was in some treacherous moments against Fetter in the semifinal. Right, was sweating, and he came back and found a way to one. 
Look at this cue ball. Look at that break. Look at this break. Yeah. Two My, ball on the good side of the table, too, with sitting, how, how thin he is on the one. Look at this. He's sitting pretty good, though. $75,000 richer after yesterday, man. Pretty pretty big day for Carlo Biotto. Yeah. That he's not done yet. Oh, yeah. I want to add a few. Uh, since the chat, I know, in these streams is going to be quite active. And uh, I know I haven't covered the rules of the chat. I'm, I'm going to end up making, like, an intro video um, to go over the rules, rules of the chat. But just there's rules. two rules. Two rules. We're here to have fun. So I'm cool with people roasting each other as long as you're not actually being a jerk. You know what I mean? Like as long that, as you're doing it not, for fun I'm, I'm and out. in jest and everybody's having a good time, I'm out, we then. can do that. Uh, so make sure if we're if we're making jokes about each other, we know that everyone's having fun. And don't be selfish, man. You know, we don't need the chat room commentators. Not that, you know, if you... There's a difference between sharing your ideas in the chat and calling every shot and trying to show off how much you know. You know what I mean? So, anyway, going to add a couple of mods in the chat during the stream, and, and they're regs for my stream that really know the vibe of the chat. So, um, yeah, thanks for your help if you are in the chat and you, get, you become a moderator and you see anybody that is truly getting out of line, please make sure that you uh, hush them up. But we don't, we don't want to throw down the band hammer too much. Because we want to make sure everyone's involved and everyone's having a good time. Anyway, first rack here. Carlo Biotto looking uh, like, how are you going to beat this guy? Like, everything he's doing, he's doing it perfect. Did you see how he just drew the cue ball? Yeah. Dead perfect with the bridge. He drew it back like three inches, buddy. Just perfect. I mean. No, no, no. There's a... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just giving you... I dare you I'm to just, hit the I'm ball I'm just that giving good, you a hard right? time. I'm just giving you a hard time. Listen, they, he knows how to rack the balls. He knows how to break the balls. Ten ball is... Clearly one of his specialties, and um, he's not wasting any time here getting on the scoreboard. All eyes are going to be on him following this last uh, 10 days out here in Vegas, and he's picking up right where he left off here. 1-0, Carlo Biotto. Rack number one. There we go. That was a breaky run ski, right? Yeah. Beautiful, quick, oh, yeah. fast. Oh, yeah. Perfect breaky run ski. Carlos feeling good about it. Look at him. Look how focused he is, man. You're the man, Mike. What can I say? <laughs> Mike's, you're, you're my I love hero. it when Mike shows me stuff. You're my hero, buddy. <laughs> Make sure and keep a, keep a camera on Albin at all times. Oh, my God. Guy can who? go can go a little tilty sometimes, a little tilted, but what? hopefully, who hopefully. doesn't want to look at that guy? Yeah. He's a good-looking guy. Okay, relax, cowboy. <laughs> oh, came across the ball there, but got the eight ball down. Eight ball on the side, one the ball coming, up. coming in hot. Two ball kissing the seven in front of the side. I thought it was going to make the there ball. There we go. There we go. Little bit of traffic down here near the three and four. I see he's got the predator jays on, huh? Nice. Yeah. He's nice. looking sporty nice. AF. Look at look at how like. You know who dresses like that? What junior dresses like that? What's that? Where's the where's the audio clip? It's probably gonna be way too loud. I'm gonna try. So here's the plan. I'm gonna try to get that other match between Victor and Yap up on windows have... open here in a minute. I was trying to play the what heck, what the heck is MySpace clip, but I don't oh, have a Joey up. Tate. Joey Tate That's always dresses super sporty. That's my man. Why isn't he playing in this? Probably because he lives on the other side of the country. Yeah, yeah. Well, a couple juniors in here. Obviously, yeah. Savannah Major Easton. Payne. Yeah, Savannah Payne Easton, here. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Payne's been playing pretty good lately. Fetter loses seven to nine. Wow. In round number wow. one. Roland Garcia gets him. Podium finisher losing in the first round. Yeah. <laughs> can someone figure out how much Lupio you can buy with 75k? <laughs> <laughs> Raymond Lenar is in the chat. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I think that's what he wanted, Collins. Watch the AF, Collins. Okay, sorry, Steve Griffith coming in with the band hammer. Yeah. <laughs> It's a touchy little shot, shot here. Big shot. Yeah. 
It passes the six, no problem, but really touchy cue ball on this shot. How'd you hit it, Carl? How'd you hit it, Alban Just Ocean? like an absolute animal. That was, that was game winning shot right there, yes, buddy. Yes, 100%, yeah. We're looking at two break and runs to open this set. Both guys looking pretty comfortable here. Carlos seemed to stay in line, but Alvin coming with some nice recovery. Look how easy Shots he moves in. the cue, yeah. man. Let's take a look at the mechanics. This might not be a good angle for it, though. Let's see. I'm being selfish with this one, guys. I'm leaving the camera here because I want to see how he moves the cue. Yeah, you can't really see it. Maybe next time. Whoa. Draws the cue ball out. Two rails. Little heat. Little hot. <clears throat> no surprise there, though. I mean, the, the cloth is brand new. He put a lot of juice into that one. It's a little thinner than what he had liked, but he's got the ball down. Great shot. Both holding serve. Yes. The Black Tiger. Perfect break, man. Look at this. The one ball is just going to dress up beautifully. Two balls going to open up. Oh, look at that. Look at the 510. 5'10 tied up in the yeah. middle of the rack. You don't like <clears throat> that. Yeah, the B side is going to be scary with all the excellent first round matchups. That's a really good point, Ike. There's going to be some monsters coming back on the B side. Well, now you got Fran and Federer both yeah, on the on, on the, the B, B side, side after already. First round, yeah. And you're going to have one of these guys on the B side. That's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> That's, That's pretty pretty, pretty ridiculous. Buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this here. So we're playing uh, cue ball fouls only here. Jacked up over the four. As Albin just waits his turn. God, with ease. He it's makes it's that so ball. easy, man. It's ridiculous. It's so easy. It's ridiculous. I, like, after watching a guy that just won a tournament like the one that he did, yeah. and, and how he's hitting the ball, like, especially with how the cue ball wants to move on this table, right, with the brand new cloth, he just makes everything look so effortless. It makes it look like I could just go out there and run a three pack right now. You? No, it makes it feel like that. You know what I mean? Like when you watch somebody and the game's that oh, easy, it makes yeah, it feel yeah. like you're just going to go out there and the ball's going to go in no on its own. No way is he going to get... He got to the good side of the four. Is, can he, does he got a line to get into it? Yeah. He's on the good side of the... Oh, to go to touch the five. You mean like, like, uh, like hit it right now. No, he's looking at what he's going to do with the cluster right now. He's calling the timbal? Uh, a carom? Hmm. What a nice shot, to, shot. What a shot to see Early it Early tens do count here. Wow. He hit that good. What a shot to see. Never. Get the cue ball in a good spot. We're a bunch of idiots. We thought the 510 was locked up. Carlo was already four steps ahead of us. Wow. I told you the game's easy, guys. Pinoy vision. There you go. It's called sheer, sheer creativity. All 
Are we going to bring any knowledgeable people in to cover the one pocket banks and eight ball? Are you already sick of me? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm going to try to get whoever is available and, uh, you know, eager to uh, to hang out in here. So I'm sure there, there's plenty of guys around. It's just whether or not they're still in the tournament or if they're... Uh, this is going to be a dry break here. Wow. Hmm. Or if they've got other stuff going on. So stay and tuned. Everything's in the open. Ball's going long in the side. Do you got anything offensive here, Nui? I don't think so. I don't think so, and I don't know how to get safe here. Maybe maybe uh, if there's a line. No, there's no line. There's no line here. There's nothing there. I'll be back. All right. Oh, 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 oh. He, okay, so check it out. He's going to play the one off of the two to send the one this way and put the cue ball up behind the three. Oh, but he doesn't run into traffic. Is he going to leave a shot? He was hoping to run into one of these balls down here off of the two. Either way, that that's such a creative shot right there. <laughs> that's so good. Uh, even if he left an edge of this one ball, uh, wow. Looks like he can see the one. He's going to try to pin him up behind the nine ball, I think. Since, especially since the two's tied up with the ten. There's no combo, combo on offer. Got to assume he's going to try to lay him up real tight behind the nine. Put the one on the other side of the four, maybe. Or use the four to stop the one. Okay. Didn't wedge him between the rail and the nine, though. This is going to make the kick to get out, like, astronomically easier. Uh, Nota Hoffman, my name is Collins Newey. Post up is my stream. He misses the whole ball, though. I can't believe he missed the whole ball and kicked short. Wow, maybe he was expecting a lot more slide on that kick. That's a shocker right there. Ball in hand for Alvin Ocean, but the two ball is tied up with the 10. He's going to see if the 210 combo bank goes. Tough to see how it lays. I mean, even with my overhead, it's going to be tough to see. He's checking it out. I mean, if he's saying that the that the wire is pointing at that spot on the rail, he's saying it's throwable. But it's not a high percentage shot. He's got ball in hand here. What are you going to do? Wow. Interesting spot here early days in this set. It looks like he's deciding to... I have no idea what he's doing. Is he trying to draw the cue ball behind the three? I have no idea what he's doing here, guys. Maybe the one ball passes these balls and he's just rolling up for the 210 combo. No, oh, he's rolling up on the four. Okay, yeah, because he would have... If he was rolling up on the combo, he would have played the one in the side over here and... and Played the cue ball down this way. But what he did right there was decided to take the safety, remove this long rail as an option for kicking, and break up the 210 cluster with the one ball. Unfortunately, not leaving a shot with the one. Well, maybe the one plays passed into this corner, but you get my point. He's trying to develop the two ball while also playing safe, trying to get ball in hand again. And if the cluster doesn't work out for him, he's always got an option to play a lockup safe again with ball in hand if... He can extract ball in hand here with the uh, with the safety play. This nine ball is a huge ball with this kick. With the bridge, with left hand spin, he don't like it. I wouldn't like it either. Holy hell, that's he's in a tough spot. Is there three foul here? Yes, yes. He's kicking two rails at this one ball. Is it going to go long enough? It does. Holy. Oh, my gosh. Holy shot, guys. Look at this kick. Uh, he judged He judged the slide. That shot 
was going to lengthen out off of the second rail. You can see it, it at half speed. I barely caught it at full speed, but I'm going to see if I can cue it up with my little uh, YouTube replay here. That was a hell of a kick because the second rail, the cue ball bent like mad off the second rail, and he judged it perfectly and didn't leave a shot. Give me a second to cue it up, guys. Let's see what Carlo's going to do with this one ball here. And uh, I'll see if I can show you the bend on that shot. Oh my god, it's so good. I just watched it again. <laughs> you don't like what he's got, that's for sure. What's up, Bang Time Pool? Welcome to the chat, man. Plays the one up behind the seven. This is another one of them times where, like I was talking about with Shane Van Boning, these guys are so good at controlling both balls in the safe. Let me see if I can uh, pull up this uh, this replay real quick for you guys. Look at the bend. Wonk. It bent right there off the second rail. So strong to make that hit. No, this is not U.S. Open uh, nine ball. No, no, no. We are not. The nine ball U.S. Open title is owned by uh, Matchroom Pool. Uh, the Mark Griffin Trust uh, owns all of the other titles in all the other disciplines. So this, these next two weeks, we're going to be covering the U.S. Open ten ball. Then we'll do U.S. Open eight ball. Followed by U.S. Open Bank Pool and finishing with U.S. Open One Pocket. Carlo again checking out options on the two ball. Maybe trying to play safe and also, also disrupt the uh, situation there. Let's see what he does. Makes the one ball, breaks open the two in the same shot. Oh my god. Holy shot. Coming in behind the two. And breaking it up in the same shot. So sick. I mean, with a cue ball like that, guys, and the way he's breaking so far, obviously, uh, with the template rack, I, I don't know. I know that we got some monsters out here, some absolute monsters, but that is a sick cue ball, man. I wonder with where the eight ball's sitting, I wonder if he plays this with a high inside or if he draws and barely misses the 10, right? Like just change the tangent line to barely miss the 10 and then miss the eight and come out. Filipinos love to go two rails. What am I, who am I kidding? Look at this, look at the cue ball. He just, man, I would be so nervous about running into the 10 right there while shortening it up. And then if you play it long, the eight was a big ball. He just, he's got the cue ball on a string boys. Whoa, using the whole pocket there. Using the whole pocket there. 
Hit it thick so he comes up short on position. I'm pretty sure he was planning to play the uh, seven ball differently. What up? Look who it is, guys. What's up? What's happening? Hello, everyone. The ghost. The ghost. I heard your first round was kind of tough. Yeah, I lost. I didn't play good at all. No? Pull, pull this in. Make, don't be afraid of that oh. thing. Yeah, I'm always always afraid of things in front of my <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Man, Carlo is playing, like, scary good, but then he just got on the bad side of the seven there. Well, and... You got to see that. Let me show you the shot that he just played to break out the ten. Damn. Yeah. While Alvin's watching, watch it. That's that, pretty sick. That is pretty sick. How's your travels been, man? I haven't been traveling for the last two weeks. I've well, been yeah, but you're you're out here. You've been uh, you you had like three tournaments last month, right? Oh wow, that's a big miss. Big miss. Well, the cue ball is on the rail, so Carlo will have to roll this ball. It's not an easy shot. No. No, I've been traveling a lot. Uh, not as much as I did last year, I think. So far. Uh, you know, I came here from Texas, then from uh, I came to Texas from Louisiana, and then before that, there was Derby. Missed that mm. ball. Wow. Oh my gosh, that new cloth. This, this table got this table got uh, refinished yesterday, so it's like. Well, or no, this one was two days ago. Sorry, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, super slick. Yeah, well, if you roll the ball that way, the pocket plays bigger too. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of breaking runs. I think that was a little premature. Oh, yeah, we got uh, we got Trolley Bright Crawlers there if you want some. We got candy. <laughs> yeah. Better with the candy. <laughs> I need some, yeah. A little sugar rush. There he is getting in there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look around. Take a look around. There's, Any a, lot other? Of, there's a lot of good matchups in yeah. round one, right? Round one, we had SVB and uh, and uh, Francisco, right? Mm -hmm. SVB wins that one. Uh, you get Roland. Roland knocks you to the B side. One of these guys is going to go to the B side, right? Yep. Uh, who is the other really big one or decent size one coming up? I think we have uh, uh, Victor Zelinski and Aloysius Yap. Wow, they play each other every every tournament. <laughs> yeah, that's an unfortunate cue on the one ball there. Yeah, the chat is uh, chat is good vibes here, man. I'll tell you what, I love you guys in the chat. You guys make this so fun. Is there a lot of people watching right now? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Really, really good. And then on Griff's channel and on Facebook, too, I think. Nice. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in this yeah, morning, thanks guys. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I might bust Joel for those canyons. Yeah. <laughs> we got more, baby. We got more where that came from. He, he just, tried to cut that ball? I or is doubt. he playing safe? I doubt. Uh, maybe, maybe he was trying to cut it. I mean, I'm surprised he did, but the two ball is going, and it's, you know, if you overcut the ball or undercut the ball, as long as you don't leave the one ball hanging or by the pocket, you're safe. Kind of. Alvin going for the... Uh, Jump cue, yeah. He's going to chip in this one ball. Yeah, he's going to make that, that one. For sure, and the two balls just laying over the side pocket. Yep. And it doesn't really matter where you end up on the two ball because the three is so close to the corner. I know it's on the short rail. Well, you may hit places that are you bad. may you may overheat it. You know, end up behind one of the balls. It's quite easy to kill the cue ball with stun when the pockets when it's laying so close to the pocket, right? Yeah, and there's yeah. a lot of distance lot for the cue ball to land. Yeah.
Oh, the question in the chat, Fetter, did your extension s screw snap off inside the queue in the semifinals? What yeah, that was, that's what happened. Um, I I was a little bit frustrated. I got long on the ball, and I tried to, uh, you know, tighten up my extension. Like over-tightened it? <laughs> I over-tightened it. You know, the pin broke in half. One half was stuck in my inside of my butt, so, yeah, I had to come up with something, you know, borrow, borrow the eye release. Yeah, we uh, saw you ended up with key. the, yeah, someone else's cue. Well, yeah, I had to, I had to switch my shaft on that gotcha. longer, longer, but if I had to use the extension. Right. Which was okay, you know, for one match. Emergency, it happens. Yeah. going to be a lot of pool this week yeah a lot of pool sorry i was reading the chat it's uh two weeks of a lot of pool unbelievable are you he are you here for all four events or are you gonna jog off to that uh wnt thing no i'm not going to wnt uh okay. most likely i'll stay and play all of the events here uh i'll i'll either stay here and play all of the events or i may go somewhere else just to hang out kind of yeah is this getting started already? Did Mike yep, did yep. Mike end up setting up a stream over there? I might need to help him. Actually, what I might do is have Mike come in here and hang out with you. And I can set it up for him. Yeah, that's fine. Can I leave you alone for a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. That's fine. I'll, I'll talk to the chat. Yeah. I'll be back shortly. Yeah, is my mic working? Yeah. Perfect. Good. Never commentated alone. <laughs> well, let's talk with the chat then. Pretty good break from out in there. Basically one shot. The first shot is the most important one. If he makes the one and gets on the two, he should be out. How heavy is my playing cue? I believe it's... 18.2, 18.5 in that range. I like it light. Most of the time I uh, take out all of the weight bolts. And uh, wow, Albin overran this one. It looked like the rail bounced a little bit, second rail. Damn, you guys are. Yeah. So quick. They're they're uh, chatting so quick. I can't even it's read the question. It's tough to read. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you ever have any questions in the chat and we don't respond or Fetter doesn't respond or something, it's it's tough to keep up with, guys. There's three thousand of you watching on YouTube, uh, another thousand on Facebook, and all that chat is coming through in the same place. So, um, I did get confirmed though. Windows Open is streaming the match between Aloysius Yap and Victor Zelinsky. So. Make sure you go check that out. The live score is being uh, kept on digitalpool.com. So uh, if you, th there's no scoreboard on that stream, but if you want to follow the score, you can on Digital Pool. We will eventually get it set up where all that's in the same place, but we've uh, yeah, just been a little bit busy getting this stream set up. So <clears throat> little spot here. Looks like Yeah, he overran the, the cue ball. Does it look like the rail first is playable here? I mean, at least to call it. Yeah, but I doubt he he can get anything out of it. Maybe just you know, play would, the thick would, hit and try to play safe. I that ball for sure. He's playing the thick hit and trying to get safe. A little too much spin on the cue ball, though, and the two ball is going to dress up over the side real nice. Yeah. Yeah, big rack for Alvin. I mean, alternate break, you never want to lose your your break. Right. That's like, you know, holding your serve on in tennis. Right. There will be a lot of break and runs with the template, you know, with the new cloth. Especially, yeah, rack your own with a template rack, yeah. There will be a lot of break and runs. Did somebody, someone in the chat said, did somebody stream the SVB versus uh, friends, uh, this FSR match? Yes, it was on this channel. You can rewind or watch it later. I'm going to be uploading all the videos as individual matchup videos later tonight. Sweet. Yeah.
I really like that setup. Yeah. The scoreboard looks really cool. Oh, yeah. Clean. It is clean. I'm really, really uh, quite proud of it, actually. Who won? SVB won that match, guys. So far, SVB and this guy sitting next to me have ended up on the uh, one loss side after the first round. <laughs> yeah. Here, put this down like this and I can see you. And then pull this up. There you go. There Perfect. You go, right? There yes, we go. Yes, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oops. That's when we say oops. Carlo doesn't look quite comfortable with this. Um, wants to get back to the good side of the eight. Yeah, I think he's going to draw and play the eight in the corner. Or may he, he may draw it. Punch the hell out of it. And Carlo Beato is going to take a two-game lead again. And breaking. And breaking, yeah. You can see a Polish kid in the background. Which one? Shimon Kural. He's Who's playing against Eric Hurlison from Canada. What table? This one here? Yeah. That's Eric shooting. That's going to be right here. Yep. Somebody's at 5-0 over there. <laughs> you don't see that very often with ultimate break. Two good players. Carlo to break. A little bit off center. The three is in. No, not very good. I'm not sure. He may see the one. I think he can see it, but this is like... It's really close. Even if, if can you see can... see it, he has to play it. Can yeah, but it's it? pretty sick being on the rail and not being able to put the inside spin to miss the traffic. You know what I mean? Oh, you're definitely shooting with just center ball here. Yeah. But then you got to judge the kiss probably, right? Because there's. it looks like you're going to run into the eight, no? I don't, I don't think you can see it the way, the way he's acting. Mm. I think he's trying to think where he is going to push. And the push is really tough, too. Yeah, he's pushing. Pushing to a kick? Mm. No, pushing to a thin. The edge of the one. Yeah, that's not no brain in my book. Alvin is going to put him in the bad spot here. And Carlo, I mean, Carlo is one of the sickest kickers in, in the game. So Alvin may live him a kick or a jump or a window here. But he's definitely not giving him back to Carlo. I don't see I don't see him giving it back. Should I hold my mic closer? The closer the better. So these mics are, are designed where if they if they pull away they fall off quite quickly. Okay. And they're very directional, so you don't want to be talking across the top of it, but talking straight into it. Okay. So, All right. Yeah. Sorry guys. Yeah, a little window yeah, there. Yeah, he left a little window maybe there. Maybe a window. It looks like a tight window. I don't know. I think he can see a half ball. If he can see a half ball, then... I think we can find out. No, I don't think he can see a half of the ball. But he enough may. to stun and use the tangent line, it looks like. Send the two or the one ball up near the short rail. Two rails, maybe? Yep. One rail. Look how long it goes off that rail. Holy crap. I'm going to steal some of these. It's real good, yeah. Does the packed house and close proximity of the tables make playing difficult or distracting? <coughs> Not distracting, but it definitely changes the way the equipment is going to play. You know, the humidity and the way the rails are going to start bounds different. Little jump shot here. Big jump shot. Is he trying to cut it? Probably. I would think so. Because the cue ball would go back down towards the two. Yep. 
Hits it really thick. And in the window. Wow. Right in front of the hole. The packed house in this venue, guys, has to stay way over there. The players are the only ones allowed in the player area. So there's an area there, an area underneath my camera as it's sitting right here. And then way on the opposite side of the room that we're looking at. It's the only place that spectators can watch from. There's still some work to do in that rack. Two to the four. Well, it got straight on that two, I think. Yeah. yeah, the four doesn't pass the nine, right? No, he'll have to play with inside here and go two rails and play the four in the side, I think. Or he may draw and play four in the bottom right corner. Yeah, it looks like it passes the ten. Yep. Look at that cue ball. Look at the cue ball, like the just the perfect amount of left spin to just let it check off the rail into the good line. Yep. Perfect angle to leave to leave the si a similar angle on the six to to get to the yeah, uh, the other side of the of the right seven. side of the seven. Yeah. Yep. I love the way he moves the cue. You ever notice how it how similar it is to Warren Kiemko? Really? Yeah. I never noticed it. No. A very very similar cue action, Carlo and Warren Kiemko. The way that they, their hand is cupped under, like, turned just a touch like this. And then they always do this quick little... Whoa, oh, wow. Whoa. Hello. Yikes. They always do this quick little, like, like jab and then go. Like, quick little... Yeah, I don't know. It's really, uh, really tough for me to understand. <laughs> yeah. Filipino Q action, as always. Yeah. Very different. Pretty good there. Yeah. Perfect. Like, so tough to deal with this. Yeah, it's, you'll have to kick two rails, I think. It's so, in even kicking two rails, you got to get a hold of the perfect amount of the ball to not sell out. At I the actually don't mind kicking at one rail here. Kick at the hard. perfect speed. No. Because if you kick two rails, I think you're going to run into the eight. And even if, you, even if you're sending the six this way, right? Well, then you're fine. But you got to get a hold of the perfect amount of it to not sell out at the perfect speed. Like, <laughs> just like that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my gosh! Wow, Carlo Beato, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's kicking unbelievable. It's ridiculous. And that was intentional, for sure. A hundred percent that was intentional. Yeah. Just the fact, I mean, I could see the possibility of that shot, right? And I'm I'm an amateur, right? So obviously Carlo can see it. And to shoot at it and hit it that good is just next level. Right, right, right. And now Albin's just kind of yeah, in a spot I mean. where you just kind of got to go and hope a little bit. I mean, you got to well, pick I mean, the side he, of the ball to hit. I think he's going to try to send that six ball two rails. You can always call the 10 in a pocket, too. Yep. He may scratch here. Pretty good. Wow. Wow, Pretty look good. at the speed. Is it going to slow down in time? Not nope. quite. Nope. Not quite. But how do you get Damn, back to the good side that, of the seven? Can that you? That table looks really fast. It's real fast. Yeah. Can you hold the cue ball here? Yeah. Probably no problem. It's pretty thick, huh? Mm, I don't know. Hold the cue ball to play the seven back down table or in the side pocket, That's maybe. Stuff. I think the angle is a little bit too big for that. He may run into the eight, or he may. I mean, this guy's got drag such. It. decides to run into the eight and it'll just turn out fine i don't know if it's fine you can't pocket this i mean you can it's a thin cut i think uh i think the seven looks to the third diamond or something yeah it's a really thin cut but you, you gotta play it he's checking the route for the cue ball 
And he's looking at it coming off of the third rail on that line. One, two, three. And then come back to the fourth. Five, five rails. And Most fifth likely. rail, yeah. He's got to miss the got to miss the 10 here. Go in between the 9 and the 10, it looks like. Yeah. Avoid the scratch in the side and avoid the scratch in the corner. Five rail shape. And he's going to hit it like a hanger, right? Ooh, oh. hits the 9 and he gets the scratch. Oh, no. oh my God. That table rolled perfect, by the way. Yeah, perfectly straight. Yeah, he yeah. didn't roll to the left, didn't roll to the left, to the right. Wow. Not out of the woods yet, man. The nine's covered by the ten now on the side that's easy to get to. Let's check out the angle he has here. He's got on the bad side of the eight here. Well, maybe the good side. Maybe he can follow with a okay. bunch of juice. We don't really need to use any side English here. Yeah. Because the nine ball goes past the ten. Right. So you just play center ball, and if you land on the center table line... At least you have a shot. Yeah. It'll be really tough to make the eight with, you know, inside. Or maybe he's dead straight here. He he's looking that. at the bank shot. That's free. I mean, not really. Because if you miss it long, then you leave a jump. If you miss it short, then that's fine. Uh-oh. No, Hiya. no. Hiya. He missed it by a lot. Yeah. Well, the table's obviously going to be banking, like, absurdly long as he well. Using, he was using some left English there. Just Which mis mis threw it long. Yeah, just misjudged. Yeah. Well, bank shot for Albin. Way too hard. Yeah. Not, was, the, not the easiest shot now. No. Got to elevate and go three rails. And that's better than the bank, you think, huh? Where you're automatic on the cue ball? Well, I mean, bank bank is just a way tougher shot, I yeah, think, yeah. to make. You're not guaranteed to make it. You're nine. not guaranteed any type of look at the 10. Nine where more. if you make the, the cut shot, you're, yeah. you're going to have some kind of look at something. Let's see. Perfect. Got there. Perfect. Yeah, I'd call that some kind of look at the 10. Big rack there. Stealing Carlos' break. And pulling it three to four with a chance to tie it. Yep. Uh, Forest Barefoot. With a two dollar super chat says, "When is your queue line coming out? I need a new one." So the first queue that will be coming out will be the jump queue, and we're uh, currently working on the final prototypes. My guess would be between two to four months is when we launch it, and it's going to be a, a sick, sick one. Action tables always running here at Griff's. Two of them, tight pockets. All the spectators watching. All the spectators bumping the table that has my camera on it. They always do. They, they'll go up there and they'll put their, they'll like sit down and put their elbows on the table. <laughs> I mean, it's like, like seriously? Oh, he hit it way too hard in my opinion. The nine ball's gonna nine go ball. Nine ball. Little jelly. Yeah. Nice. And the two ball dresses up just perfect where you're going to be able to get any angle on the two ball that you could possibly want. Yeah, two to the three, three to the four. If the three ball doesn't go past the six, then it may be, it may be a little tricky. It's close. And that's what he's looking at. I think it might I have think. like half a pop. Pardon me, half a pocket. Yeah. If, he, if it doesn't go, he can land on the other side of the three and follow off the six. Like, But he can't leave himself a big angle. Uh-oh, he's going to leave straight on the two. Never mind. Yikes. <laughs> Woo! Going to have a long shot on the three. 
if the three doesn't go past the six in the bottom left corner. You're getting so many questions in the chat. <laughs> we need to start. We need to start answering them at some point. <laughs> well, at some point, we we'd only talk to the chat. I mean, I'm not opposed to talking to the chat. Don't get me wrong. But a lot of questions. He's drawing it and a little too hard, I think. Yeah, well, I read it. No, I think he can see the pocket. For real? I think he can see the pocket here. He doesn't. He's got a ton of traffic in the way. Maybe he he can use the six and go forward two rails to get to the four. He may not even need the six. Yeah, maybe he is full enough to miss the six. If you, if you play hard enough, you're gonna make you're gonna make make the contact with the six. And that's what you want. As long as you're on the other side of the table, yeah. Oh, missed oh. the ball. <laughs> missed the ball. It's a tricky, tricky little layout here. Look where the seven's sitting. Well, I mean, you can. Always I guess play this. It. You can always play down up the table. Rail. Up yeah. table, yeah. Well, with where the six ball ended up after that shot, too, it's significantly different than it was the shot before. So what do you do here? So what do you do here? Stop the rocks and the, the, the three ball, two rails? Yeah, but you don't want to make it. You don't want to make it. Table's banking along anyway. It should get past the side pocket. He tried to, oh, he used the six as a stopper. Plenty of distance between the cue ball and all those object what balls. What about the, the window between the seven and the four? No, the jump doesn't go. The rail first. I think the seven is really big there. Well, I mean, I don't know. I think it's really big. How, how many rails do you play here if you can't go past the seven or the four here? Kick it three rails? Or it would it be ideal rail? to hit the third rail because the cue ball is going to stop dead if you get a full hit. And the three ball will go like this. Three ball is going to go like this. You know what I mean? You call the corner pocket just in case. Oh, you can even draw on that? Yeah. How sweet is this? We got it all, baby. Come on. This is better than TV. <laughs> <laughs> He's kicking three rails. He called the three in the bottom right corner. A lot of the times you're going to hit half, half of the ball on the three. Yeah, the three this is, is going to go towards the it's five. It's going to go long so often, too. Let's see. It goes towards the five. Three ball right in front of the hole. I mean, it's, there's a lot of distance. There's a lot of distance. When was the last time you guys cared about distance, man? Well, it depends. It just <laughs> depends on your, <laughs> your current, <laughs> the, way, the way you're playing. Current state of mind. Yeah, state of mind. That's what I was yeah. going to say, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you're just... You're, well, just, I mean, he is, he's in a good state of mind for sure. Just I mean. perfect. <laughs> you know. It's only perfect to just stop the rock and, and shoot the five in the bottom right corner to follow the cue ball to the six. It's only perfect. <laughs> is he just slow rolling and playing the right? Oh. What the? He got a funny little... Uh, he's fine. I mean. Yeah, yeah. But he got it. Do you see how he got the funny slide there off the rail? <laughs> like the rail didn't really rebound the energy efficiently of the over overspin on the cue ball and he was bothered by it well hello he was bothered by it guys this is interesting little interesting uh middle of the set here between albin and carl well, that's what i like i mean when you play on this is a four and a quarter diamond with the new felt so it right. plays it, it still plays you know yeah. pretty pretty big yeah when you watch those matchroom tournaments, it, it's played on four-inch pockets. Right. And, you know, by day three or four, the tables are already broken in, and they play tight. Really tight. That's, not, that's, not even counting the outside tables. That's when it's really interesting to watch because you don't get to see, you know, pros running oh. out every single time. Yeah, yeah. You see all the moving and all the all the strife. Well, and, oh. you know, the, the pressure is building up, and the last three, four balls, you never know when somebody's going to miss or not. Right. I mean, unless it's... You know, filler or right or filler. <laughs> Tell me how you feel about it. The rest, the rest, <laughs> the rest of the players are missing. <laughs> right. This is. I don't care if you're straight in. I, I hate shooting a ball that's sitting right in this spot well i mean if it's off the rail it's fine when it's on the rail it's you have to like stun it yeah i don't know how but you're always hitting that side pocket i know like look, look what he tried to do oh yeah my God, I jinxed him. 
Oh my god, I jinxed that. I I'm hate sorry. shooting that shot, man. I hate it. You always hit it like so. How, how do you do that? I don't know why it but, happens. But, but when when it's on the rail, you always think that there's no chance I'm gonna hit it. Right, because it it has to go down the like past. It, it. has to like skid. Yeah, and there should be a, a left spin on the ball in that case. Right, and it has to curve into that point. And you sometimes you hit it like super thick. Right. I think he actually overcut that one. I don't think he hit the point. I think he overcut it by a mile. No, I think he hit a he hit a point. We're gonna find out. I'll yeah, tell you what. Yeah, we watch it. I'm, I'm we're gonna sure find he hit out. A point. I don't think Albin missed the ball by that much. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that would imply that he just completely butchered the. Well, at any rate, Carlo's gonna take advantage, and we're gonna take a look at that shot. Well, so far, they're still in each other's brakes. Slow motion here. Oh, my. What was that? It's almost like he hit it after the point. He compressed that's, that's, the... That's some magic over there. That's he, like Harry Potter stuff right there. It all of a sudden just changed directions. I think he compressed the point, why, and that's why, why it why looked there's like... there's a coin underneath the cloth or something. Like, what the hell? I think he compressed the point, so it makes <laughs> it look like the point didn't get in the way. But that's really interesting. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I bet you he was just as confused. Wild. Yep. Perfect break by Carlo there. The eight ball. Well, eight ball Trying game. to come into play, but I think it's just out of the way. Barely. Yep. I mean, from one to the two is the most important shot. If you get good on the two ball, then play the three in the bottom left, four in the upper left, seven in the upper left. Did you say, uh, did you say yep or, uh, Or, uh, that's a good quality there. Yap. Oops, it's a little grainy because it's, it's dark. Never mind. Bad, bad joke timing, guys. Every once in a while, you butcher one. Perfect. Perfect from Carlo there. Hey guys, if you're watching right now on Post Up, anywhere on Facebook or YouTube, I want to make sure you guys know in advance and as much as possible, the finals of each tournament is going to be streamed exclusively on Griff's TV YouTube channel. So make sure you get over there and subscribe so that you know when the finals is going to take place. That'll be in uh, three days, but uh, the sooner you do it, the better. So it's easier to remember when that does happen. Ryan Hydern is asking me a question. He says, am I happy with the progress in the sport, both with prize money and exposure? Yes, I am. I'm really happy. I mean, if you compare it to what pool was like five years ago. I was going to say about five years ago, yeah. You know, it's it's uh, it's a completely different game now. You know, with Matron being in Wolf, WPA trying to fight you know and putting their events and there's a lot more tournaments in the United States now too yep so yeah I'm, I'm really happy with the way things are going I'm, I'm uh, lucky that I'm you know 23 now so I'm in the beginning of yeah you're like the perfect age to take advantage of wherever the game is going if it continues in the right direction Came up short on the seven and now came up short on the eight a little bit. Yeah, two recovery shots. He's going to... I'm not sure. With all the Filipinos, you never know when... When they're going to spin the crap out of it. Yeah, he may aim with the left English and hit it with high right. You never know. Like that? A little kiss. That was weird. It, it looked like he was going to aim like low left and then... It looked like when he stroked through the ball that he put left spin on Carlo, it, but he hit... I think Carlo aims with left... Most of the time, doesn't matter when he's just aiming. Yeah. yeah, doesn't matter where he's trying to hit on the cue ball. He's always aiming on the left side. Yeah. Breaking run there. 
63. Big lead and a race to nine with alternate break. Albin will have to break Carlos serve twice. Yep. Fetter will be Pools Pat Mahomes. <laughs> what is it? Fetter will be Pat, uh, Pools Pat Mahomes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the chat, man. This thing right here is the funnest thing to ever happen to the internet. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's the nuts. Sorry about the camera shake, guys. It, it, it's quite windy out here in Las Vegas right now. And the camera's pretty close to the front door, so when they open the front door, we get a teeny bit of camera shake. The wind is supposed to die down over the next couple days. So you know Albin is angry. Look how hard he hit that break. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. The cue will jump almost to the string, to the head string. Why won't I be streaming the finals and semifinals? I'll be streaming the semifinals. It's the finals that are going to be exclusive on Griff's TV. It's just part of the deal. I think it's a pretty fair deal to have access to all this unbelievable content for two weeks. <laughs> it's a pretty fair deal. Man, there is a lot of more people watching pool on, yeah. on YouTube. On now. YouTube all the time, yeah. Predator, I was watching. Predator. They had like 23,000 or 27,000 yesterday. Yeah, 27,000 people watching. That's that's great. That's I think tremendous. I think it's really good for the game. Yeah. I mean, 27,000 live viewers is a lot. Yeah. And that's just on YouTube. Cue ball. Going to come up short. Trying to get him behind the nine. Alvin is in a little bit of a struggle right now. Yeah. With the speed. It's it's tough. Well, it's, it is a tough shot for Carlo here as well. He either uh, going to clip the left side of the one and try to bring the cue ball where it's at right now, or he may he may go for a bank. Yeah, he's going for a bank. It's never a bad thing to go offensive on your opponent's break. Because it's kind of a free roll, you know. I see what you're saying there, yeah. Especially in the alternate break format, where in winter break format, sometimes you're always just trying to hit it hard. I think. And no wow. six ball. I thought he was going to hit the six. Me there. too. Shortened up a ton off of the second rail. One ball is going to be trailing. Behind the nine here, most likely. Is he going to play two rails with the cue ball or Got just a qu one? A question in the chat from Jackie Tucker says, why didn't Oscar play? Oscar's uh, taking a little break right now. He's spending time with his family. Mm. Again, a little too hard. Well, he hit it super thin too. Don't you think that was maybe a, a touch thinner than intended? Maybe a one eighth of the ball thinner than he wanted to. Yeah. So, what's the shot here? Is he gonna hit the right side or the left side, or is he gonna play the six? He well, may, it looks a little kissy six. for the six. It's real close to the rail, isn't it? It is close to the rail. He didn't call the six. No, he's checking off the left side of the one. Too hot. too thick. Too thick. Cue ball. Little jelly roll? No. No jelly. Maybe. The one doesn't pass the, the one, five. One doesn't go, yeah. He will have to play the five on the side. And it's it's missable. You may, you may hit it thick. Yeah, and it's also tough to judge since you're cutting the one. The cue ball is going to be moving at a rate that's going to be tough to judge while you're trying to also figure where the one's going to end yeah, up. Yeah, it's not going it's, to. It's, it's not an easy shot here. Yeah. Because one ball is traveling towards. Because the one's going to hit the five really thin, too. Like quite thin. Yeah. If you hit it thick, it goes towards the nine. Yeah. Not an easy shot. 
He might play safe too and lock it, lock it behind the seven. Yeah, I personally that's what I'm doing just because I know I'm not a good, I'm not a good executor. You know, like I'm not good at executing the tougher shots. You know, send the one into the nine there. Because yeah, you could use the the nine to stop the one. You could go rail first into the nine, so you can hit the one thicker to control the cue ball yep. easier. Yep. But but he's going after it. It looks like. When you have an open shot, then. Yeah, he, he could hit it thicker than we thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice control of the one there. Ooh, this is a really good question from Bob Yunker. Says, a uh, question to both of you. I'm going to put it up on the on the screen. Uh, have you seen younger demographic watching playing pool with the last five years? If so, why? If not, what needs to change? Uh, we could. That's a very detailed question that we could talk about for a long time. But I'll try to keep my opinion for short, and then I'll hear what Federer has to say. But uh, just looking at the demographics on our YouTube channels, um, people watching live pool are quite uh, just, I'd say, on the older side of things. I mean, yep. half of my audience is over the age of 45. Um, but there are a fair amount of people between the ages of 25 and 45 that are watching. There's nobody under the age of 25 watching pool. Almost nobody. Live, that is. Uh, but then I notice on Fetter's channel, um, with all his, the shorts, his YouTube shorts that are he kind of does like trendier things. Right, right, right. There's a lot of young people watching that stuff. Well, like, I think the pool is trending on all of the social media platforms, especially TikTok, Instagram, and uh, you know those those are the platforms where you see those shorts and reels the most. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the younger generation that are using those platforms the most as yeah. well. Dude, I love the, the people in the chat that are under those ages. Look at this uh, shot. Wow, it slid long maybe and died yeah, off the short rail? Yeah, hit it too thick. Hit it too thick. Uh, you know, when you play on the, on the new cloth, when you hit it thick with anything above center, at yeah. a certain speed it dies. Yeah. So he had to hit it thinner. You can go after this bank. The 10 ball might... Oh, for sure he's, play, he's banking it. For sure he's banking it. The 10 ball might play on the line to the the 9, though, because the cue ball is going to go... A nice scratch, too. Kind of, like, a little bit past the rack there that's on the rail as it hits the long rail, I think. Unless he's got to hit it real thin. He oh, never mind. Played safe behind the 10. Good speed there, that I think. That is quite good speed control. Uh, but... but as I was saying about the the younger people, and when I said no one under 25 watches, I didn't mean no one does. I'm just talking about, like, comparatively speaking to the rest of the people who are watching. Um, it's like, under the age of 25, it's like maybe 4 to 6% of my audience. So... Got behind the ball. And it's going to dress up in front of the side pocket. Yeah. This rack's going to go to Alvin. Faux show. Mr. Announcer, us young guys understand we are not offended. <laughs> I'm thrilled to hear that. <laughs> I take you guys for granted because you understand why I stream the way that I stream because you're probably watching other live streams. Not saying that... I'm not trying to say some something about the other group. I'm just saying something about the young group. Anyway. Albin Ocean trying to get back in this set. It's so crazy in that uh, that race to nine, that shorter race alternate break format where you get to a you know two or three game spread. You got to fight real hard just to have a chance to win. But then it's... it's I, I mean, I like the format, but then when somebody comes back, it's a lot of pressure on your break. Yes, yes. Because you knew that you had a lot of lead. You know, three three game lead so with an alternate break is a lot of. It's a lot of. Mike and I were talking earlier about this exact topic, but uh, in my opinion, when you have that kind of shorter race, seven, eight, nine, template rack, rack your own. I think alternate break. Well, is a must. Is pretty much a must. Yeah. Well, for sure. Because. If any of you guys get in a rhythm here, when it's not alternate break and you're racking your own with a template rack and yeah. you really find the table, it's like... We may see we may see the score 6-6 six to six after two games here, so that's wide open for Albin. Yeah. Dry break. 
Everything is wide open. Eight, nine, ten on one side. One, two, three, four, five on the other side. So Alvin is out here. What percentage of the time do you think Alvin a is mistake not happens? And what do you think is the most common cause of him not getting out? I think 3%. And what do you think out of that 3% if you played it, you know, a thousand times or whatever? Well, it depends on the score. Too. What, what if, causes you know, it? If, if it was hill hill, you know, the pressure would be much different. Sure, and he, he might tighten up and you know jump up or do something stupid, and you know the speed control would be speed control. Yeah, like losing, losing position. Well, yeah, yeah, gotcha. And you know, leaving himself a tougher shot. But yeah. I doubt anything like that will happen in this game. Mm -hmm. I think winter break can be really uh, fun and compelling, actually, specifically in the matchroom format. I think they nailed the winter break format. Well, that's the perfect format that matchroom has because it's a really tough break format. You almost never get to see players running more than three games. Right. Because of the pocket size and how tough that break is. You know, there's a lot of... A lot of things that can happen. The cue ball is traveling a lot. You know, you're you're guaranteed or not guaranteed to make the one. Most likely, you're gonna make the one on the side. Sometimes you're gonna scratch off the nine, and you know it's really a tough format to master. We've seen a couple of instances of people like popping off in that format, but yeah, it's quite rare, as in comparison to like when they used to do a ton of you know ten ball winter break format stuff. That was Package City. That was who can run the packages. Ten ball with the tempo is much easier than nine ball natural format. Though. Yeah. Who's my favorite junior to watch right now? Savannah Easton and uh, Hayden Ernst. I have a highlight of that kid. <laughs> Hayden Just, is, my, is, is uh, my local boy from Louisville. Oh, really? Yeah. He is like a shot-making, like, ball-cutting machine, man. I've seen – I got a clip of him at the in the finals of the Junior National Championships, uh, 14 and under, this last year. Yeah. The runout was ridiculous. It was <laughs> like the entire thing was super thin cuts, cue ball flying all over the place, but he just made them all. <laughs> He's a shot maker, yeah. Yeah. He it's came fun. to my house one time and played. Uh, you know, we spent a day playing with each other. And he plays uh, fast. Yeah, he yeah. plays fast too. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I like I like him. But then obviously I, I got a soft spot for the kid RBP. Prasad, Adrian Prasad. Look how hard he breaks. Yeah, the rumble is always in the same spot in yeah. the cue ball. Field. But Carlos is doing the same thing. Shane was doing the same thing in his set, too, over hitting the, the break where the one ball was going into the short rail and then way back out. Well, I mean, that's fine as long as the cue ball stays in the center. Sure. You know, if the cue ball was in the center of the table here, he'd, he'd be out. Yeah. Is he banking this ball? Well, you got to call it, and then you play the cue ball on the other call side it. of the two. And, and then try to hit it in a way where if you miss it, it goes sh short and, and up here, right? Yeah. So you're playing with a little more speed, probably? A little bit, but Here's not too touch. hard. Not you don't want hard. the one to make it over here. Right. You control the cue ball, too, here. Yeah. So you're hitting definitely you're definitely hitting the thicker side of the one. Yeah. Jack Murray coming in with a 499 MOB Productions Billiards. says question for Fetter. Nine ball race to eight. Nine on the spot. Small break box, matchroom winter break or alternate break. I think I think we just talked about that. Uh, nine ball race to eight. Nine on the spot. Small break box, matchroom winter break or alternate break. Asking oh, what you prefer. Oh, winter break or alternate break? Yeah. No, with matchroom format, I prefer winter break. Yeah. Winter break is always more exciting to play and watch. Uh, you know, when it's a tougher format. When it's... 10 ball or oh my lord wow what happened there was it some kind of let's see if we watch in slow motion see if there was some funny rotation there or if uh, he just flat out missed it no i think he just missed it 
Let's watch his Q move, too. If there was any steerage or if he just dropped on the wrong line. Carlo's going to take a second here, it looks like. He's going to try to kick it, I think. Is he kicking it to the side? Kick and stick? Let's I see. like that. Kick and stick? Yeah. Nah. It's good speed. It. I mean, it's like you're you're not leaving anything well, significant. He left the shot. He oh, you can cut it from here. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Let's rewatch what uh, Alvin did earlier. Just flat out missed it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that that wasn't. I was missing it too much for it to have been a skid. Well, kind of turned out for him okay. You know, the three ball landed in in the middle of the on on the short rail. Right. Big shot for Albin here. Keyboard's gonna go one, two, three, four rails. Pretty thin cut. It's yeah. easy, it's so thin actually. It's easy to run into the 10 there. You gotta put a touch outside spin. It was that was really thin. I think it was thinner than it looked on the camera too. Carlo. Getting the cue ready. He says it's business time. Yeah, he's going to shoot that three in a corner. Automatic position if he rolls the ball. Man, the vibe I get off Carlo lately is... No matter what the situation... Okay, time to go to work. Yep. I mean, Almost like that Jocko Wilnick uh, uh, quote thing where he says... You, you know, this is what Missed I got to deal with. Good. I mean, guys. Oof. What is going on in that match? I mean, I played bad today, and I lost, but... <laughs> you would have rather played these guys? Damn! What's going on here? <laughs> no, I mean, we all played for two weeks straight. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. Friendly troll, guys. Friendly roast, this, that's all. This is... Uh, this is not the most important term in our life. You know, everybody's most likely experimenting some things, you know. You will see more misses from some players than you would usually see. Carl is just chilling, thinking about where he's going to go for dinner tonight. <laughs> where are you going for dinner? I'm not sure. How late you think we'll be playing tonight? Well, 64 player field on 10 tables. Oh, it's only days. 64. Three days. Yeah, oh, 64 player good. field. Yeah. Because when I lost, I thought I was going to play 18 matches on the loser side. Yeah, 64. 64 is not bad. It's only 10 matches, maybe. Well, I called it, guys. I know there was a lot of turns in that wreck, but the score is going to be 6 to 6 if Albin wins. And Albin was down 6 to 3. Carlo will be breaking next. Watch out for the side here. Good. Josh Filler is playing Max Lechner. He's up five to four. Boom. Victor Victor Zelinski is up six to zero against the what? losers. Yep. Wow. Six that is zero. surprising, actually. I know Victor plays unreal, obviously, but I mean, so all it takes Yap. is three three dry breaks, or you know, two dry breaks and one mistake. Sure. And oh, and and the truth being, all the other tables except this one are the four and a half inch pockets, right? Or well, I, I broke three, around five games it. today. Oh, and lost. And lost, but I mean, I I did have chances. I I made three big mistakes. I'm not gonna lie, I, I didn't play good, but I did make five breaking runs. Four balls in, cue ball, triple kisses. Eight ball's gonna get him. Eight ball gets him big. This is really similar to that shot that he shot on the six ball. It's fairly similar. He will have to push here. I don't think he's gonna. You're not gonna to play the kick, yeah. No. But like, if you're in the middle of the rack. 
especially the way he played the last one. If I'm the three ball wasn't there, he may play the kick and like clip the one and send it to the short rail and swing I, the yeah, cue sure, ball. Yeah, sure, sure, yeah. But he's going to run into the three if he does that. Well, I was talking about kicking this way like you did on the six ball. Catching uh, the one full and then sending the cue ball like really you did. It's really dangerous. Really yeah, dangerous. especially you got nothing out here, right, to protect yourself. Yeah. I think if you leave gonna, a shot. He may, he may push to something similar to what you just said. Um, what was he looking at there? He's looking at the swerve kick, the push to the. He's gonna try to swerve rail first and pocket the ball. Yeah, and I don't think Albert is gonna give it back because Carlo. For Carlo, I think it's a high percentage shot. And he opens up the 9 and 10, so it's a little bit less drama later in the rack. Pretty interesting matchup on the loser side, too. FSR is going to play Mark Estiola, losers round no one. No way. Who Mark, did Mark play? Mark Estiola didn't show up for his first match. He always no. <laughs> oh, brutal, dude. He was playing Vitaly last night. They they gambled and they finished at like three or four in the morning. Oh, he was just tired. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So I guess I guess, I guess he overslept. It's not, it's not that bad in the three hundred dollar entry that. If he had good action last night. He, he did win, so maybe that definitely was... Definitely worth it. <laughs> hey, I'm going to fill this up with water. Can I get you something to drink? No, I'm good, thanks. You good? Right. So what's Carlo doing here? Yep, and I called it. The three ball was there. If the three ball wasn't there, the cue ball would have ended up on the short rail here, and it would have been a really nice shot. Big wreck for Albin here. If he can steal this one, he'll be up seven to six and breaking. The race to nine, it's a big deal. Try, trying to fall down. Holy crap. Tripped on my chair. He was trying to play that shot that I that we were talking about. The this thin word. the thin clip. Okay. And he ran into the three. Got it. Then you said with yeah. where the three was, you wouldn't play it, right? Yeah. Yeah. He left the shot, and Alvin's going to trickle it in the hole. Yeah, a little bit. Oh. Actually good that he overran it a little bit now that the three's not going to hinder his cue. Yeah. He needs to hold that one and then play five in the upper left corner. A little shake of the head, though. He's not thrilled. Because the angle is a little bit too big. It's a high-pressure shot. Yeah, and you have to play it long. Either pound it and go through the rail and back or kill it with a lot of backspin. See what he decides to do. Decides he, to stun it. He plays, the ball in. he plays a little stroke slip. I'm not sure. If I analyze different strokes for too long, I may... I may mess up my mind. <laughs> yeah, don't, yeah, okay, because you're so particular about your mechanics. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> how does the, the guy, he, how, how does he do it? And how then does he I'm play like, that good? And I'll have the same shot. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> i like, I want to play with the same stroke because I've seen the guy make a ball. and <laughs> <laughs> The way he's sitting there thinking about it right now, he's just like, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's looking great. good in that rack. Yeah. Six to the seven would be the biggest shot here. Yeah. Got to get a nice healthy angle so you can come around the eight, right? Or do you want to get on the other side of the six so you can go forward? This is interesting. Well, he can go through rails here, I think. Long, long. Or he can draw a lot. I think that's what he's going for with the outside. I think he goes through rails. Just punch the hell out of it. Yeah. Wow. One right rail the nine, yeah. between the nine and ten. Wow, that's pretty good speed there. A little bit too much, but still a really good thinking there. You know, if you run into yeah. the nine, you're good. If you overrun the cue ball, you're good as well. Does this run into the ten naturally? And if so, do you play the slight elevation 
stroke it and get back to middle table off the short rail. That is tough. I don't think you have to elevate at all. Just roll it with, you know, just high English. Clip the left side of the tin, and the cue ball is going to travel towards the middle of the table anyways. Just like so. Don't want to hit the tin in the way. Uh Oh, hello, (laughs) tin ball. (laughs) How do you run so bad? Wow. (laughs) Holy moly. We got... We got drama from the players. We got drama from the pool gods. He's hooked. He's full hooked. When you when you work so hard to pull it back to 6'6", six, six, you put out the frowny lip. Did you guys see that? He hit it too hard. Yeah. He hit it too hard. He didn't think he was going to catch so much of the So much ball. of the 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe he thought he was going to catch more. Maybe send the 10 to the other side. Yeah. How sick would it be if he kicks it in? No. Yeah, no, and he's going to leave it right Sells in front the of the farm. hole. Right in front of the hole. Sells the farm. I Chihuahua. Wow. Huge rack for. I mean, it's the end of the set almost, right? Yeah, I mean, but I mean, it's six to six. If Albin wins this rack, he'll be breaking next as well. Look at the the body language from Carlo. Body language like that is the only time when I'm like, you know, a pro might miss like a, a routine, not not super routine, but like a very makeable but missable shot. Mm-hmm. Is he going three rails and playing the 10 on the side? Inside, yeah. 100%. He was like rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. Seven to six, Albin to break. Let's see how hard he hits him this time. I think he will hit it more. You think he's going to try to ball. try to be more controlled or same speed and higher on the cue ball? Same speed and higher on the cue ball, I think. Let's take a quick look while Albin is putting things together here. I'll check the scores. Right over here. This match, if you want to sweat the rest of this match, whoops, my camera's trying to go too low. Uh, if you uh, want to sweat the rest of that match, go check it out on Windows Open, guys. You can stream it the whole time. Follow the score on uh, digitalpool.com. They, they're putting all the live scores up there. I think Alvin's just about done racking right now. Yeah, so Victor is up 6-1. to one. Pop back over here. Josh Filler is up 7-4 to four over Lechner. Yeah. He did have more high on the, on the ball. See where the one ball lands. Just far enough away. Cue ball moving away from the two ball, though. Yeah. You will have to go with inside, like high inside. and go. I, I do my vertical air bridge, draw to the short rail. <laughs> you may run into the eight or four. Probably will, but it's more fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to make the ball, drawing the ball, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think the right shot is to go with high left. Going between the eight nine and then go two rails towards the three ball. And no, he's doing, he's doing your shot. Maybe the angle. No, I was talking about like a vertical air bridge. It's it's a gaffy shot. I'll show you later. I I do it against Mike all the time. <laughs> he hates it. Oh, he played your shot, but elevated to probably miss the double hit so he could let the stroke out. Landed a little funny there. How much do, goes to the winner? How much goes to the champion? They're working out the prize fund right now. Should be decent. But it should be decent. I would assume somewhere, depending on how they pay the rest of the field, uh, it should be somewhere between seven and $10,000, I would think. I would say around nine, nine, ten thousand for Yeah, first, probably. Because it's, it's about $30,000. Just the under 30000 I think, in the prize pool, yeah. Yeah, so usually, usually 30, around 30% is what winner gets, 25, 30%. Yeah. Well, 
Random question, is English Fedor's secondary language? If so, when he thinks about shots, does he think about them in Russian or English in his mind? I never think in English. I never do. Guys. <laughs> what? <laughs> how much of a mind blow is that with how fluent this guy is in all the shot selection and everything? So are you actively like translating in your mind as you're speaking? Right now? Yeah, like as you think about the shot, you think about it in Russian and then translate I mean, to English? Not really. Okay. Not really, but if I had to like think about it, then I would think about it in Russian and then you know it would be a a straight connection. Right. Interesting. But no, I'm not I'm not really thinking in English yet. Got it. Still trying to learn the language. My uh, my stepfather spent two years in Japan and he said he still will randomly, he doesn't speak fluent Japanese anymore. He was yeah. t entirely fluent, but he doesn't speak fluent Japanese anymore. But from time to time, he will have dreams in Japanese. Like his brain just clicks and goes No, back. sometimes I, I, I speak English in my dreams as yeah. well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-oh, not enough. Not, not enough. Not close enough. The cue ball's not close enough, but I don't think you've sold the farm here. No, he didn't sell the farm, but... I mean, even I on a kick or safe or anything. I, this is tough I think for Carlos. You can see the three ball here. And he may roll it. He may soft roll it to where the cue ball goes behind the eight. You got to trust the table. Or he can go offensive and try to make the nine here. He can't do that for free. Let's see what he does. He's, he's going to look at it. You got to at least look at it, right? I mean, the nine ball is kind of big. It's big because it's close to the rail. If you miss the, if you butcher the three ball and go into the rail first, it still goes, you know? Yeah, but then you, you have to pick. You play rail first or you play the ball first. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of easy to miss if you don't decide. And then, you know, the three ball will be random because it will be kissing off the eight. My double kiss. May go towards the five. You may be hooked be behind the 10 afterwards, too. I think he's rolling just behind the 8 here. Oh, wow. That's a surprise for yeah. me. Yeah. That's a big surprise for me. The yeah. 310 may be wired. Like, oh, look at the stop kick. it. Look at the kick. No way. Off I the think 7. It, I think it goes long. <laughs> Hit it hard and make it off the 7. Forgive me for this, guys, but I'm going to look at it. Well, I need a ruler here. Yeah, the camera's too close. I can't. No, it goes at, at the seven. It goes at the seven, doesn't it? Well, it goes towards the seven. Yeah, you just have to kick it real, real hard in order to make it off the seven. Sorry about that, guys. The ceiling's <laughs> pretty low here. He's just sending the three ball to the short rail here. Two rails or one rail? I think two rails. You know what might be better, guys? I think I'm going to set up a side angle camera. Wow, wow. and he scratches. Ow. That might be the move better. I'm going to set up a, five, a side angle camera. That's just up higher, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the move, I think. You can do it from both sides, too. I only have one camera. Big scratch from Alban. To put Carlo on the hill. Yeah, three to the four is the only shot here. Is he going to play two rail shape with inside or? Really tough to tell. Just straight up and down in between the four and eight. What? I'm 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 shocked. Yeah, why do you you gotta play like I am shocked. You right have now. to play into a six inch window for that shot to be good. Right? I mean you Carlo. have six inches of speed. And I'm including three inches to the rail and three inches away from the rail. I'm surprised he shot at it that way. Like I uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I mean know. he's got a good cue ball on him today, but and I'm not saying that this isn't makeable, but No, it's probably make he's probably gonna make it. Yeah, wow. Hi -ya. And look at the speed. Yeah. Talk about a cue ball. Great shot, never in doubt. 
Great recovery shot, but could have been easier, for sure. Four thousand people watching the stream on Shut YouTube. Up. No way. This is officially the biggest stream we've ever had, guys, and we're only on day number one. <laughs> thanks for. Uh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Yeah. And thanks. sticking around. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for tuning in. It's helping the event so much. It it really, it, the more people that watch and and uh, you know show value for future events here like with coverage like this yeah, it just allows us to do more next year you know what i mean because when you talk to sponsors and stuff and you can show them you know exactly. they're more inclined to get involved so thank you guys for hanging out carlos on the hill that was a huge wreck there who's going to be next on the stream table after this match I think it's going to be, I think we already picked it. Oh, it's going to be Vitaly and Billy Thorpe. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's that's what it was. Billy Thorpe. Who do you like in that one? I like Vitaly. Yeah, I figured you would. He likes the driver. I like I like my trail, buddy. <laughs> Two balls going in. Two ball one. down, one ball on the short rail, five ball trying to spoil the party but it doesn't it's a potable ball but is he gonna run into the five with the cue ball here or the six if you try to miss it you know yeah but if you try to miss it to the left if you try to miss it to the right do you just juice it up with inside and then how do you get on the three i mean you can also play it with a little bit of a outside and try to run into the three if you miss it it goes two rails and then you play three into the bottom right corner that's what he did. Kinda like that. That's yeah. what he did. <laughs> oh my God! Call it better. Well, little I mean, wave was, of the hand that the that three the ball shot. doesn't fall. That was the shot for sure because it allows you more variance to get lucky. I mean, he did get as fortunate as he could have there, but that was the right shot in my mind. Goes in between the seven and the ten here. And doesn't want to get straight. Automatic speed. Albin, Albin, a little bit checked out. Yeah. yeah, and he probably is. Probably. Dude, thank you guys for clicking all the the algorithm stuff too. It helps other people like you that have similar viewing habits like you find the stream. So, thanks for clicking that thumbs up. Straight in on the six ball. It's cinchable, but he's actually got a decent angle here, I think. Well, maybe, yeah. I was thinking the cue was going to travel a little bit further. Yeah, you could cinch to the other side of the seven. Might even be able to just slow cinch it and shoot I the think, seven in the bottom left. I think he's going to shoot the seven on the side, if you ask me. In but, the side? Yeah. Or he may draw a little bit. Or he may go follow and play the seven in the... Yeah, he plays in the... Wow. Wow. Wow is right. Carlo, what are you doing here? Pare. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, huge shout out to Fetter too for hanging out with me. This is fun. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. It's my mental therapy. Yeah? Yeah. I lost. Let you unwind a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You get to watch other people in in the strife that you just went through. Well, yeah, my my confidence level is a little bit up now because I've seen <laughs> I've seen both of the players miss, you know, three four three four times. Right. Yeah. <laughs> He's playing it in the side, playing the cue ball two rails, three rails around the eight. Is he trying to? He's he going to hit the he, nine. He missed the he, he missed the ball, similar ball, you know, trying to power the ball in the side earlier. Like that. And he missed it again. And, and Albin is going to steal The eight his ends game? up in front of the, s the corner pocket as well. What a match. What a dramatic. I mean, guys. Albin with an absolute gift. Let's see what happens. Albin was already thinking, who's, who's he going to play on the loser side? Yeah. And now, now he's back in the match. Crazy. 
He's going to have to wait for Lee Van to shoot another shot, I think. Oh, never, never mind. He was waiting on the action next door. A little back and forth, and the, the game is over. Yeah, we may see some hill hill action here. I mean, Kyle for sure will it's be. It's Alvin's back. break, right? Yeah. Wow. Drama. There you go. Seven to eight. Imagine. Eh. Imagine. Ooh, he's gonna take a little break. Let's let's wait for all the yellow card jokes in the uh, in the chat, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do we check out in the meantime? You know what? While he's gone, let's do this. Give a big shout out to the uh, the old sponsors. Big shout out to Town with the uh, the Max Rack. That is the rack that we're using for this whole tournament, for uh, ten ball and eight ball. And uh, shout out to Fast and Loose Designs. They're the one that uh, Chris is the one that put together the flyer and the, all the announcements for this event. And I was able to use those elements to create those uh, the stream overlays that you guys are seeing here. So huge shout out to Fast and Loose Designs, Diamond Billiard Products. Everyone knows about that. Those guys, uh, Michelle uh, Griffin. Griffin, Realtor. Check her out if you're in need of realty assistance. And of course, our title sponsor, Q Tech. Thank you, thank you, thank you to those guys. Meanwhile, Max Eberly is getting down with Lee Van Cortez. It looks like the score is four to one over there. Yeah, Lee Van is up four to one. Josh Filler just beat Max Lechner nine to six. And then we got this table here. What's the score with um, Aloysius and Victor? Victor won nine to one. Wow. That is a massive, uh, massive win. Win at the, you know, that type of win too. Yeah, nine to one. Here we go. Alvin trying to get to the hill. That was Brian. Brian Parks. Yeah. Big break here. Needs a break and run to put pressure on Carlo. Where can we see the draw? Who's left and any big matches happening? The the bracket link is in the video description on YouTube, and it's pinned in the comments on Facebook. It's on digitalpool.com. Oh, he hits a terrible. Oh, and he gets away with it. Wow. And look at the layout. Unbelievable. Look at the layout after all the drama we've had. Well, I mean, he kind of deserved it. Carlo should have won, and, you know, that's the way the role they're going sometimes. You know, if you don't if you don't win when you were supposed to, the you game is going to punish you. Yeah. That's what happened to me yesterday. You know, I should have, should have beat Carlo in that semifinal, that third set. I should have won. The second set, I should have won. And, you know, as soon as I lost that, I kind of knew the way the game was going to go. Yeah. And, uh... That's what happened. Well, looking good for a hill hill here. Big shot here. Fairly, fairly narrow window on the seven, but but even so, it's still quite routine. But the seven this, ball goes in both both. It goes both. in both pockets, but this would be the last spot I would have, would have thought from getting a good angle on the six, where where drama could happen. Uh, two rails and out. A little too straight. Um, I think he's going to draw here. Just draw across the table. And just draw, yeah. Yeah, out and back.
Yeah. Perfect. Real nice angle. Just a bit off the rail, and life is good. Yeah, needs to take care of the whitey here, and uh, should be should be back in the game with all the pressure on Carlos' break. and it looks like the kilo is going to travel perfectly. Albin is back in the game. Hill, hill. Hill to the hill. And things <laughs> just got interesting. Yeah, it's it's been a crazy match. If I was going to bet... I would say this is not going to be a break and run. Even though I know he is the favorite to break and run here. Like? Just because of the way the match was going with the scoreline and everything, I think Carl is not going to break and run here. But you never know. I think some funny kiss may happen on the break. and Let's gonna, find out. He's going to play safe. Here we go. Kind of softer than other breaks. Neither of the second balls go. Two ball kisses the oh, six in the side, and wow. the one ball dresses up. The 310. Unreal. And the 310 combo sitting. Is the 310 that's going to be the decider here? Wow. He did break it soft and didn't make the ball in the side. It right. kissed in. It kissed in with the six ball. Yeah. So kind of got fortune in there. Not kind of got fortune in there. Drama. Two ball. Two ball in a place where it should be quite manageable to get on the three as long as everything goes according to plan on well, this shot. He can he can play the three in the side if he gets perfect on the two. He doesn't want to shoot the three ten here. Okay. But if he gets weird on the two. He's I think he got perfect to go one, three two, rails. three rails and play the three in the side. Yeah. But yeah, especially when you put that outside spin because he's he's quite straight. Hit the cue ball here, outside spin kicks it out like this. Yep. It's easy to overhit though if you overhit it and you get a bad angle on the three. Well, you definitely don't want to underhit it. So you, yeah. you're, you're thinking to overhit it and it will be fine if you. But then the cue ball is going away from the four and you do have a large window it looks like most of the time but if you get it see he's looking he's looking to even run into the four there so he's he's playing three down here yeah but then he, uh, he he may hit the 10 on the way in which is fine too i think yeah we'll see oh yeah yeah it'd be fine if you split the eight and ten well if he hits the right side of the ten yeah then he may get stuck okay the eight might kick out in front of the three or something. He doesn't want to hit any of the balls. Yeah, 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 yeah. He wants to go around and one, two, three, perfect on the three in the corner. Just wow. exactly where he put his Q tip. No big deal. Good shot. Guys, this game is easy. It really is. It really is. <laughs> 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 well, still, still some work to do here. Oh, yeah. Is he going to play the 4 7? If he does, then does the 8 ball go past the 10? And yeah. if it doesn't, then you don't want to make the 7. Then the other option is he's got the angle to go up table to play the 4 in the bottom left, but then you got tons of traffic to deal with. Well, he can also play follow and play the 4 in the upper left corner, too. Yeah. I think he is looking at playing the 4 7. Uh -huh. So the 8 ball might, might go. If the 8 ball goes past the 10, then the game is over. I, I see. I think it does. 
It's really close. He's playing straight for the 4 7. He likes it. He does like it because he got perfect on it. <laughs> You can hear over the mic in the room, they're playing a chip tournament here. They're going to be playing tournaments all week. What time is it then? Oh, it's Sunday. It's 2 o'clock. Let's see what he does with the four ball here. So we will know if the eight ball goes or not. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Just keep the four right in front of the pocket. I didn't even think he can, s he can play the that way play that thick hey uh shout out to timothy harris thanks for the love on uh, cash app buddy well my script was wrong guys break and run hill hill as boring as it gets <laughs> wow alvin's bored i'm sure unfortunately I mean, for carla, carla should have won the this uh, oh oh hey hey whitey make it interesting <laughs> <laughs> One time. <laughs> yeah, I got to travel now. It's so automatic. <laughs> Off the oh third God. rail, though, once you get to the third rail, things are really good. He's thinking to himself, I made six perfect shots to screw this up. I think he's being a little overdramatic, don't you? Well, I mean, he has to do a lot more than he should have. Why does he? Why? You don't need a jack up here. Uh, he can. He can also. He's got the stroke. You know what I mean? He's got the stroke, right? And then you just go right back out here. I think he he, uh, he has a bigger angle than you think. I think he's going to really go towards here, and he oh, may hit the tail. Oh, 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 I see, I see. So he's trying to draw to the short rail. He may just hold it. That's It was a way bigger angle than I thought. Yeah, that's what, what I thought. What a shot that was. I told you. Carla tried to screw it up, and his skill didn't let him. <laughs> Unbelievable. For the first round win after all that drama, what a match, guys. Unbelievable I match. I think after all that, either one of them would have felt lucky to, to come out with the win. <laughs> oh, for sure. For you sure. know. But, uh, wow. Wow. We can, uh, while these guys coming in, while these boys get set up, we can go sweat a little bit of this uh, Lee Van Cortez, uh, uh, Max Eberly. Right down here. Max coming with a shot on the three ball there. Wow. Two to the five in favor of Lee Van, I believe. Damn, how many people are watching the stream? Wow. It's been 4,700. Well, you get a good match. You get a, a celebrity in the booth like you. Almost 5,000 people were watching. That's Well, on YouTube only, that's... Yeah, that's really, really good, guys. That's awesome. It's so cool to see so much interest in this event. Yeah, I hope, I hope, I hope you get a lot of views here in this event. Yeah, 1.6K on Facebook. Sweet. Wow, that's crazy. Just absolutely smashing the all-time record. So the next match on the stream table will be Vitaly... Petsura and Billy Thorpe. Billy Thorpe, yeah. So oh, speaking of, I need to set that up on the uh, the old scoreboard. I think uh, I think they're gonna hit a few racks to practice and start. Definitely. I'm not sure what times their match scheduled, but I think it went past the scheduled time, just because of the way the last match went. It went hill hill. Right. And uh, yeah, they were scheduled for 1:30, so they should have started 40 minutes ago. Corey Duell is here. I haven't seen Corey. Yeah. Yeah, he's living in Vegas now, isn't he? Uh, or was he living on the West Coast? I can't remember. I think I'm he, sure it's someone in the chat in knows. California. Yeah. I think he lived in California, but I may be wrong. So, what's going on on the loser side? Albin Ocean will be playing Manuel Montejo. That's the guy from Spain that uh, shocked everyone in... Uh, at the U.S. Open by beating Anton Raga oh, back in September. I remember. 
I, we were watching that. Exactly. We, we were standing right there watching that match. Exactly. He's playing against Albin on the loser side. Wow. So I guess that's a that's an interesting matchup. That's interesting. You know, he has a 778 Fargo. So kind of brutal draw for both of them on the loser side. Then FSR and Mark Estiola. I'm playing against Jeremy Long. Uh, 345, which is an hour and 30 minutes away from now. Aloysius Yap is playing Savannah Easton on the other side. Mm, nothing really interesting so far. Payne McBride is tied 6 to 6 with Danny Olsen. Can Salami Salim is here playing Max Evans. You know how to say his name? Do you know what the the actual pronunciation is? What Can? Chan. Chan. Yeah. For like real? like John, like John, but with a not a full ch, but like a Chan. That's like that's like a Turkish name, Chan. I know that. What's that's like a C with a little tail. Sure. How do you call it? I that? don't know, but see with a tail. Someone in the chat told me, and then I looked it up, and I like did a lot. Like while I was live, I I'll do this thing with name pronunciations where you can Google it and you can hear somebody say it. I call him Can Salami. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> but you're a comedian. You're hardly even a pool player. Ah, <laughs> uh, I wish I was a comedian. Better, can you say hello to Vietnam? Saint Chao, Vietnamese people. <laughs> That's right, baby. That's my peeps. That's right. I love Vietnam. I didn't know there was any Vietnamese watching the stream. There's people all over the world right now. When you get 5,000 people watching almost, there's people all over the world. Isn't this Score the time? here on this table. Uh, you can follow all the live scores on uh, Digital Pool. It's 5-3 to three, Lee Van. But the current score is 5-3 to three, Lee Van Cortez, yeah. Phi Dean Ba is watching. He's from Vietnam for sure. <laughs> Another match coming up. That's right. We're going to be live all day today. I mean, it might even go into the wee hours of the night, depending on how long these matches tend to take. But uh, as long as you don't break it, Mike, it's fine. <laughs> Mike tapping the window glass with a chair. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we're going to um, – stream until we get deep enough in the tournament that it makes sense so this is going to be finishing in three days three and a half days when we get kicked off with the eight ball but next match up is that that gentleman back there uh billy thorpe you can see him sitting down over here yeah they're practicing right now billy just flew in he didn't play any of the events in rio i believe yeah, I didn't see his name on any of those. So he just flew in here to play uh, the U.S. Opens. I'm not sure if he will be staying, sticking around for all of the disciplines. Some players will be traveling to Boston. I, I didn't. Oh, if he's if he's hunting points, he's probably traveling after the eight ball. You know, but it's 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 uh, smart for all of the Americans to go to all of the ranking events because by the end of the year, you know, the difference in those ranking points and those who will be selected for the team are so little that. You know, if you go deep in one of the events, it, your chances are pretty, pretty good. Yeah. So I don't I don't blame all of the players trying to earn uh, ranking points. Right, of course. Billy is not going? Someone in the chat? Yeah, and, uh, you know, that's what I was going to do if I was him. You know, he's a banking machine and... Uh, one pocket specialist. Yeah, and, I mean uh, that's that's what I was thinking is those are his games. So it's like, if he's just in it for the money, it would make sense for him to stay. Yeah. But if he's in it to chase the points, then obviously he'd be going to uh, to Boston or where, where's that event? The McDermott is it? Uh, it's in uh, Boston, I think, Massachusetts. Yeah. Holy. Yeah, that's what I. <laughs> All came out in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching from Trinidad and Tobago. Wow. Wow. Respect. No, no kidding. I've had a little map when I was a kid, and 
Trinidad and Tobago. I will remember that flag for the rest of my life. I don't even know what it looks like. <laughs> and I, whenever I was playing FIFA, when I was like seven or eight, I was, uh, so you can you can play a mode when you're like a manager of your, of your team. Mm -hmm. And I was representing Trinidad and Tobago. There you go. <laughs> you know how we say it in, in America? Trinidad and Tobago. Tobago. <laughs> it's Very, Tobago, I think. I'm pretty sure it probably is. But maybe not. No, but Americans, we, we very much, we make the the vowel sounds a lot more, like, harsh, you know? Yeah. Looks like Billy's going to hit another rack of balls. I'm keeping an eye down here. I've got another screen that I can see what they're doing over there, so... Um, but we can pan around a little bit. See, I thought I saw filler on one of these tables. He was playing Max Lechner. He won 9-6. to six. Okay. Robert Frost is over there back in action. And we can maybe take a look. All the way from uh, Ohio, I believe. Nick DeLeon winning a game in his match, looks like. James Davey. Playing against... Is that Alice? Silviana oh, Leo. Sil Sil oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was a uh, young lady from the Bay Area. Aloysius uh, Yap girlfriend. Oh, that match is still on. Payne McBride and Danny Olsen. They they started almost the same time as Well, both of them are Ian kind Rowan. of more slower, deliberate players in general. And then if it's going the distance, yeah, it's not I a think surprise. It's tight. I think it's tight. Let's see if we can get back here. Billy's still hitting balls. Looks like Billy's banking. One stroke and everything. This music's getting a little too rowdy for me. I'm going to change it from the dubstep. Oh, shout out to Jackie Diamond. <laughs> Jackie Diamond in the chat. She texts me. She says, I said hi four times in the chat. You didn't, you um, didn't see we're me. We're sorry. We're sorry. There's so no, many. No, the chat's going so fast. Well, even right now, there's 3,000 people hanging out watching Billy Tor banging balls into the rail. Wow. There you go. <laughs> Ali, bro, there's copywritten music played in the venue. So if I don't play the music, we lose the stream. Yeah, Sean Especially Scholar. on Facebook. They'll shut me down. Sorry. Sean Scholar went back home. Uh, you rarely see a Scholar play those events. Looks like we might be getting started here. Yep. Yeah, here we go. A little too hard from Vitaly. Yeah. Looks like they picked the outfit together. We're in the same colors. Are they really? Hold on a second. What about their shoes? Same color shoes. What kind of cue is uh, Vitaly playing Vitaly's with? Vitaly's playing with Fredder. I believe it's an uh, icon. It looks like an icon. Yeah, I think it's an icon uh, with a little extension on the back. Yeah. And I believe he plays with 11.8. I love that shaft. shaft. I really do Rebo. love that shaft. The it's too thin for me. Look the way. Look where the cue ball is. It's way out. Interesting. With the template. Yeah, that's interesting. For sure. Slick cloth maybe influencing his decision? I don't know. Four ball goes just dead straight in the hole. One yeah. ball gonna... The problem, the problem with, with that break, breaking up from outside of the, you know, where from you're usually going to break from, the... Can I guess? Do you tend to get more clusters? Well, if you don't hit it perfect, if you hit it dead perfect, then the one ball is going to go towards the corner. And it's going to lay there. Sometimes you're going to make it. Okay. But if you don't hit it perfect, then there will be a lot of unintentional cues. Okay. And uh, I guess Billy just has a tendency of hitting the right side of the one while he's breaking. So he's moving the cue ball mm -hmm. to the left side. So he prevents hitting. Right. 
Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. play safety here. Cue ball trying to get it behind the seven, looks like. Coming up short and leaving well, a pretty juicy jump shot if it's not outright open. No, it's not It's not open. I'm pretty sure you have to jump it. Well, the rail first might be there as well, but tough to get to the two with the rail first. He does call the jump. If you hit it full or thick enough, you will be stuck behind that nine ball, so you have to kind of chid the pocket a little bit. Yeah. Just jumping with his break cue, which is pretty smart when you don't have to jump over the full ball you know he only has to probably jump over the half of the ball uh divage in the in the chat asks collins would you be able to put the players fargo rating next to their names for reference uh, i typically do that especially on amateur streams i everyone likes to kind of know generally where everybody sits but in a wow wow that's some trick shot there and and in he the gets gap. a shot <laughs> and in the gap wow if i'm billy that's I am, some florian kohler stuff <laughs> Billy is laughing. Yeah. Vitaly is laughing. Uh, that's great. Is it an exhibition or what? <laughs> but as I was saying, especially in, in amateur play, I'll put the, the Fargos on there. But we're in a you know a world class event, especially with the field that we ended up with. So there's really no uh, you know at this point, they're all playing. You know what I mean? They're all playing to win. So um, replay is a good. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up the replay. Big shot here. Jin's a little too hard. Didn't hit it low enough too, or not hard enough. Bang. On the rail. Kind of like what uh, Corey Duell's jump shot at Moscone Cup. Remember when he played uh, Scotch Doubles with, uh, I think he played with Mike Deshane. And Corey uh, jumped. Kibble jumped on the rail and then rolled back back on the table. Just perfect. Just great. He needs a bridge, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, well, he's he got the a, mega a, extension on. Yeah, he has a ultra, ultra... Mega blaster extension <laughs> on the back. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> so you can reach <laughs> anything. And on he just, he's just going to lay right on the seven ball. The ref's out there, and uh, in that last event will be having a cow. Triple kisses the nine. The cue ball goes behind the seven. Can he see the edge of the five or not? That's the question. If not, he's definitely jumping. If he can see it, what can he do with this? Mm, it's really close. Do you jump and go for the pot? I mean, me it, personally, yes. In the side or the corner? He's, 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 Are you playing it in the corner? He's playing it in the corner, I think. Because yeah, if you play it in the it. corner, you don't have to jump as much. Yeah. You, know, you, you have to only jump over... Oh, yeah, because if you're cutting it in the side, you'd have to go over more of the seven yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah and you're yeah. pretty close to it. Yeah, even though I think jumping in the side is more beneficial because if you miss it, you know, a lot of... Good things can happen, yeah. Not a lot, but a lot more good things can happen than shooting it in the corner. Yeah, if you miss it in the corner, you're liable to sell out a large percentage of the time. Yeah. If you miss it in the corner and you, like, wobble the ball and it stays on the short rail, that's... The best that's thing that out. can happen. Yeah, that's the best thing that can happen. Just, just make it. Just make it, baby. Holy, how many highlight reel shots? It's still only the first game. I mean, that's that's the third match, and we're, like, having exhibition games. <laughs> Made two jump shots this game, and it's just game one. Yeah, Vitaly's from Ukraine. He lives in Chicago right now. People are asking in the chat. He lives in Chicago, Illinois. Oh, he doesn't live... Is that fairly close to you, though? Five-hour drive. Oh, five hours, so it's not that close. You guys just always meet up to go on the road? Yeah, yeah, we we're just, we're just uh, you know, meet at tournaments. Yeah, gotcha.
That hair is looking on point, I'll tell you what. Holy crap, are you... Oh my gosh, he tried to go up and down with inside spin. I missed At 100 it. I miles missed an hour. I, I, thought, I thought he was going to just slow spin it. Yeah, he tried to go up and down and check it with inside. The table's slippery, too slippery at that speed. The inside spin isn't going to grab on the rail right now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if they changed the rail or not. They did. They did? They did. Everything's new. So the rail are playing soft as well. Yeah. At speed, you know, you could... You know the shot where you play, uh, you got a ball here, and you got... Actually, I can show you the shot. I can show you the shot. You know this shot? Uh, this one. With inside spin, and, it, and the inside stays on the ball yeah. and goes around the table. You could play this shot and juice it up right now. Oh, for sure, yeah, because it will stay on for sure. Because it's so slippery. Yeah. What is he doing here? Looks like, looks like he tried to and play he it two away. Good. Yeah. Missed it good. He played the cue ball more than anything here. Yeah. Good safety attempt. If that was meant to be, I'm pretty sure it was. By the way, in that little. Uh, example video the white cue ball is how someone who doesn't really play pool that just aims in the dead center of the cue ball that's where the ball would go oh 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 big scratch there yeah got behind the ball with the get in spin Was there a Fargo minimum for this or a true open? This is a true open. I don't think I've ever heard of a tournament with a Fargo minimum. No. There's never, never I don't think there's ever been one on it's the planet. Open or Max Fargo. Yeah. If you want the answers to the juicy questions, you're going to have to catch him on the post-match interviews on Fetter's channel when we do streams when he's at other tournaments. Or if we get to 5,000 viewers right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why 64 player max? We're playing on 10 tables, guys. We've got 10 tables to work with, so we're trying to get it done in three days. I think three days is, you know, reasonable. Yeah. Most of the time when it's Two day events, you know, it may go really late on day two. I think with three days, you can schedule yeah. matches pretty, pretty good. Uh, Jonathan GA, I don't know, I can't see your whole name, says, Lord Jesus, please focus the camera. I'm pretty sure it's on your end. If you want, you can go to uh, on YouTube, you can click at the little gear icon at the bottom of your screen right here and you can select the quality i'm streaming in 1080p and it's in focus but i love the enthusiasm man will i be streaming my match later today i don't know if i'm gonna get a break to help you get your setup it's tough Tough. I can if you how hang long? out tonight. I can get you set up for tomorrow. But oh, thank you, thank you. How long will that take? Uh, not long. I don't think very long. I mean, if we get a couple of, you know, a couple of other guys on the mic, we could take a break. Maybe get Mike in here with somebody. Cause I play at three forty-five. Ish. Rack number two, guys.
Got a couple of fortunate rolls there. Yeah. And you can see the one. Yeah. And the three is in the hole, so you don't really need to worry about where you get on the two. Just make the ball. Yeah, he's a big favorite to get out here. Yeah. Four to the five would be. Honestly, you make this shot and the, the rack's supposed to be over. Yeah, four to the five would be the only shot left. But how many times has he shot that shot? You know what I mean? Well, how many thousands of times? I'm trying to put the reverse curse. Played it with a good speed. Here's a juicy question. How long has Vitaly been working on that beard? What is this? How long has Vitaly been working on that beard? I don't know about the beard or hair, but I'd say at least 40 minutes today. <laughs> no, I mean growing it out. I don't know. <laughs> working on it for 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it, baby. Well, yeah. The whole world is talking about it. That's right. <laughs> oh, you guys. A little rail first there. A little too far with the whitey. A little yeah, too far. Yeah, now things get real interesting on this shot. Yeah, you have to... Hit you this ball really sweet. Really smooth. Well, and the, with the slick rails, too, are Maximum. you going to get enough out of the yeah, you pure still can, side? Yeah, it's not, it's not super dry in that room. You know, it's sure, pretty, okay. It's pretty humid. I think you will go two rails. The seven ball is in the perfect spot to not scratch if you go two rails. So you don't have to worry about scratching in that uh, upper left corner. Just a lot of... Maximum outside with right English. Oh, he butchered it. Yeah. Yeah, with those shots, especially... Yeah, you were saying it's close to the rail? Is that what you were talking about? Sorry, I was reading something. I apologize. Yeah, yeah you can't... Putting draw on the ball doesn't make it go up table because it, the draw doesn't have time to take before the cue ball gets in contact with the side rail. So draw effectively does nothing. So you have to put maximum right spin to get that up table motion right is that what you're yep. talking about yeah oh, a little gift for billy billy gets to play Ooh, that's an interesting grip billy plays with yeah it seems pretty loose well his front his finger front finger is off yeah he's off the cue i've never seen that i need me either that's the main finger that I use to grip. Me too. I use a, a almost like an OK around the cue, like an OK sign, you know? And then as I go through the ball, I transition to like, a, you know, I let the front fingers go a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's what most people do. A lot of Billy fans in the chat. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, I'm very surprised he must not have been able to get around the 10 at all. He miss hit the cue all pretty bad. He tried to draw it a lot more than he did. I see. He can still cut it in the corner. Tony Chohan is here, yes. He's playing on the table next to it. Yeah. On the left. Probably in action, waiting for his match. Or is he even playing in the 10 ball? Good Might shot, not be yeah. playing in the 10 ball. But he's here pretty early if he's only playing in the banks in one pocket. Billy Thorpe ties the game. Let's take a look. Let's see if this camera can turn. What do you think? It definitely can. There you go. Nice outfit, Tony. As always. I'm pretty sure his collar says nobody likes the knit. 
Talking to Josh Filler, trying to make the game while he's playing his match. Pretty sure Look some negotiations here, are going there. <laughs> he's trying to play his, for his watch or something. You know, asking for a 10-8. Mario, he just taking notes. Oh, Tony is a character. Oh, sure. he's so fun, man. All right, let's zone in. Billy Thorpe is about to break. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Lock How it does in. that? Lock, Lock it in. <laughs> Whoa, baby, yeah, that's, straight that's, off the that's, table. That's, that's what I figured. I mean, that's what I told you before. Billy has a tendency of hitting the other side of the one. Uh -huh. So he's moving the cue ball out to the opposite side. Uh -huh. So in his mind, he prevents himself from doing this. It's kind of like oh. a quick fix. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. That's interesting because you can still cut the one from that position. Right, right, It doesn't right. matter where you are on the head string. You can still cut the one just as much. Right, right, right. You can break from the... You can break frozen to the long rail and still and, get it. Yeah. Know, so like I would think that if you it. cut the one from further outside and you're trying to pop the cue ball, the cue ball is going to go right off the table. Well, if you pop it a lot, then yes. Yeah. If you pop it just good enough to, to stay on the table, then it's fine. Right. That's interesting. I think I have the best chat in pool, and I know I'm biased. I know I'm biased. But, like... When people like have issues or something, helping each other. The, yeah, all the people, all the regs just jump in and try to help out. You know, it's perfect. It's awesome. I love you guys. Good spot to be in here. Yep. Five to the six. Need to have a good angle on the five here. He's going to play it in the side, I, I would assume. I want to be straight. Is I think he's got that. that uh, I think he's got enough of that angle where he can slide across. It's kind of deceptive here. This angle, you know. Oh, here's, a, here's the opposite angle. He's drawing, I think. Oh, he can stun it. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I meant there. Perfect. Well, he's straight on the six. He needs to figure out which angle he wants on the seven. Does yeah. he want to stay above or below the seven? Because he's not going to be able to get off the rail very far. I would stay above the seven because the able goes in both both pockets. Just roll it a little bit. Oh! <sighs> Tried to chid the pocket there. He got move, off the rail pretty good. Move the cue ball out of the, of the rail, yes. I'm pretty sure that was intentional, right? That I mean, was that, intentional, yeah. but that's you don't want to risk risky. too much. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you can miss a ball. Right. Sorry about the camera shake, guys. It's a little windy out there today. Should should settle down over the next few days. It's but been really windy the last yeah. three days. Like yesterday was ridiculous. Oh actually. yeah, we we have a tiny car, and you know, every time uh, we were driving, the sound of the wind was uh -huh. like whistling. It's me, crazy. Me and Mike, we went to the store a couple times because we had to get like different supplies for what we're working on, and it's like, even just carrying the bags from the shopping cart into the truck. They were like getting blown out of our yeah, hands. It yes. was it's probably fifty mile an hour winds yesterday. Yeah. Yep. Jackie, what did you ask? Sorry, I just got like all of your comments just came through at the same time. <laughs> The 
the tallies are about to be up two to one and breaking. Ah, yeah. Okay, Jackie, I thought I thought it was a better question than this. <laughs> she says, if you went over and messed up his hair, would he still be able to play? No. <laughs> okay, maybe it was a good question. <laughs> I know guys that have to play with a hat on. Like, they can't play without a hat on. I don't know. I think it's like, uh, you know, some people have mental barriers that may be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, maybe I'm just careless. I don't know. Triple kisses, the one, one is in front of the hole, two to the three. Well, kind of wide open. Yeah, four on the same side of the table as the three. Just two to the three. But you can shoot the three in the side if you want. If you land it too straight on the two, you can also draw and play the three in the bottom right corner if you wanted to. There's a lot of stuff you can do. Uh, Heather asks, what type of cameras and equipment do you use for the live stream? If you have specific questions, you can message me on Facebook, either at Post Up or my name is Collins Nui. Um, but in between racks, I'll show you. I'll show you a few things just since you asked. It's perfect. Yeah. Dead perfect. Just roll forward, play the three in the side. You get the cue ball off the rail. You'll have an angle towards the four. Yeah, I agree. Decided to come out. above the three. Yeah, that's that's surprising. Yeah, he had a perfect angle to go and play the three in the side. Yeah, that's what I thought. Obviously, I said it out loud. Who won between Beato and Ocean a while ago? It went Hill, Hill, and Beato got it. Yeah, it was an incredible match. Both I would players. call it. I would call it wild. It yeah, both wild players match. missed a few opportunities, but it ended with the. Break and run from Carlo on the hill. At any rate, he hit that ball pretty good. Drew to the rail, got a good angle on the four, moving towards the five. The rest of this mat or rack is uh, close your eyes and rack the next one. Straight. It's fine. Neil Klein. Better free sports massage <laughs> if you're ever in San Francisco. There you go. That's what I need. Speaking of uh, sports or uh, 
maybe muscle issues. How's the neck feeling? A little bit better. I did that stem cell therapy. Yeah. Uh, whoa, wow. Whoa, Where's whoa. You cooked going? it, cooked it uh, well done. I thought the keel was going to travel all the way to the short row. Actually, ended up pretty good. But no, I feel I feel uh, maybe 15% better. Oh, I really? Wouldn't, I wouldn't say that... Uh, it's it, notable. It's notable, but, you know, I'm also stretching a little bit more than I did. So maybe okay. that helps. Uh, but it, they told me it's going to take three to five weeks before I feel any, diff any, any effect. And... Uh, it's been two and a half weeks, I believe, okay. since it's happened. So hopefully, hopefully uh, I feel feel better. I'll tell you what, man, I can't wait for the uh, the one pocket out here. I am really looking forward to that. Well, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of a lot of pool here. I'm not even sure what I'm looking forward to. What, what is your favorite game these days? Uh, it depends on the mood I'm in. Just changes day by day? Yeah. Kind of. Okay. <laughs> Are you still in a rotation mood after all that World 10 Ball stuff? Uh, I mean, yes. If I was going to... If I have a question, do I prefer rotation more than one pocket? Then yeah, definitely. Okay. So that's what Bill was trying to do. You know, he's trying to go to that side rail and back, but then it's a lot more, you know, trailing on the on a cue ball, and you know, there's a lot more kisses that can happen. Someone uh, in the chat earlier, I think it was someone in, from Vietnam, says said uh, Vitaly is so playing so confident. I think he has a reason to be playing confident. He's been getting some results lately. Yeah, he's been getting good results. He's finished third in the Derby City Classic in the nine ball. Then he won the tournament before Derby. He won Texas Open or Skinny Bob's Classic, right. wherever that tournament was in Texas. Uh. No, he's, play, he's playing pretty good. He's breaking really well, and, uh, you know, his hair game was on point, too, so. <laughs> must, be, must be feeling confident because of that, too. Why is everyone breaking from the center in this tournament, but they were breaking from the side in the last tournament? Uh, when, the, when you're using a template rack, it's much easier to uh, get the desired result on the break from the center of the table. When a, a referee is racking or you're racking with a, a triangle or you're not getting consistent, like uh, like the rack isn't freezing upright, uh, you break from the side to try to make the one ball so that you're at least feeling somewhat guaranteed to make a, a ball and have a look at something after the break and try to control the table from there. Is that right? Well, kind of. I mean, uh, everybody's breaking from the side rail because you're getting a shit wrecked <laughs> in those events. And uh, you know, if you if you break from the center, if you break from the center, guys, you're gonna sell sell the farm after the break, and you don't you don't want to do that. And uh, if you break from the side rail, most likely, if you don't make a ball in the break, you at least have a chance of being safe, somewhat safe after sure. the break. So that's uh, probably one of the main reasons why mm -hmm. most players are breaking from the side rail. Mm -hmm. Big miss there. I didn't pay attention to the tip. I was paying attention to all those candies over here. <laughs> Put the candy away, Fetter. You're going to have a sugar high for your next match. Play that's like fine. Play like a god for the first four or five racks. And then that's all I need. Then sugar that's crash. That's all I need. Four or five rack lead. <laughs> Walt <Walton and> break. <laughs> That's gonna be fine. Pretty big miss there. Could have been up four to one breaking.
Bill is playing with a Miuchi with a Killwood shaft, I believe. Yeah, he's been playing with Killwood for some time now. Pretty good cue ball there. Oh, look who's in the background. The Prince of Pool, guys. Yeah, sure. Corey. Back in action. Haven't seen him in a while. Three to two. Three to two. Vitality will break. Daniel Maciel is breaking. You can see Ken Salami wiping his cue in the back. <laughs> Mario, he's about to start hitting balls. Robert Frost back in action. Max Adams. That's pretty good quality if you ask me. How far do you want to zoom in? We'll go further. Wow. That's pretty good. It's the nuts, dude. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you in between racks. Uh, Heather was asking. I use a, it's called an SMTAV <clears throat> pan tilt zoom camera. You can see this one over here. Oh, the booth is in the way. The old booth is in the way. Never mind. I pump faked you. I lied. <clears throat> but the entire setup is rather intricate, I'm going to be honest with you. It's not something that I would recommend to try to replicate right off the bat. But maybe start with one camera and, and grow from there. Look at this. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought he, thought he got kissed in for the scratch. One ball fell in the top right corner. Dry break otherwise. Yeah, tough shot here. 3-5 looks Ball. negotiable. It doesn't look, it's not dead, but it looks negotiable at some point. You can bang the two ball back to the short rail here. Use the eight as a blocker. With Collins' equipment, you can see the cosmic microwave background. <laughs> a little nerd joke right there. That's what I like to hear. Uh, I don't think Jason Sword is coming out. No, if he didn't make it for the last two events, I'm pretty sure he's not coming out for this stuff. Uh-uh. No, he's not, he's not coming this time. He's on lockdown, guys. He tried to go behind the three. I guess. He was more control on the two ball here. Where is Griffs? Yeah, Griffs is in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. You can see right up there. torture you you have no idea and it's all my fault well, I was gonna say it was a decent shot there but he he sold the rail first here and even if you're not trying to make the six ball, it goes a lot. Especially if you use a jump cue. <laughs> and you try to make the six. But the problem with the jump cue, I would think, is the two ball is going to go flying, isn't it? Well, we'll see. We'll see uh, what he calls here. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think the six ball is on the, is on the point. Here. That's what I mean, because you're going to have to cut the six, and you're, the two ball is going to be moving. Well, you can also double kiss with the cue ball or the three ball is tied up too, so there will be a lot of play in that rack. Missed the ball. He was trying to cut it. Two ball Makes goes it in. in the side. I don't think from this position with the cue ball that this is makeable. He's gonna he's gonna play safety here, yeah. He's gonna yeah. just roll him roll it uh, roll the cue ball on the five here. 
I think. We got a, a look straight down the line of the shot, so. Yeah, I think he, that's what he's going to do. Just roll the cue on the five. Live Billy an easy kick, but, you know. You can also control the three ball and put it on the back of the five to where you can make it. What about go crazy with stun run through? I don't think he's got a room for that. Oh, he's rolled him on the five, yeah. Yeah, well, that's, that's no bueno because the three ball is makeable from here. But he hooked him. He hooked him and Billy is not guaranteed to make the ball. It's a little gap between the three and the five as well. Yeah. He will be hitting it with speed. He hit the five with his cue. It was a foul either way. Hit the five with his cue. Not the easiest shot, the first one, from three to the four. I don't think the three ball goes past the six, so he has to play it with the, in the bottom left corner. Is he playing for the four on the side, or? Hmm. That's a surprising choice for me. Because if he lands on that four ball, with the cue ball on the rail. Yeah. The five ball doesn't go past the 10, I believe. Well, but also if you don't play perfect speed, all of a sudden the nine and the 10 can become a problem. I would, I would have a, I would rather have much, I mean, not really much, but a little tougher shot on the three. Right. And play. What about taking an angle and like playing the cue ball somewhat like this? Uh, what was draw? Yeah. No. Well, you can play with follow. To get over here? Yeah, just follow one right here. Oh, I see. Okay, he's saying follow like this. Because the speed control is much easier with follow. Is that, well, he hit, it, he hit it perfect on that shot, so... Yeah, we don't need to talk about it anymore. <laughs> the way he played it, it, it looked like a right decision, so... Well, actually, the way he played it, it was. Didn't even look that way. Yeah. That's w w what does Alex always say? There's no such thing as the right shot. Well, if you execute it well enough, yeah. It's not even about executing it well enough. Even if you missed it and you chose a shot in that moment, you as a pro, especially someone who plays full time, you know in that moment almost all the time what I mean, the not really. right shot for you is. Nah, not really. You don't think so? No. No, we seen it in the Carlos match. Remember he had, he had a... I mean, a how few. often do you have moments where you played a shot and you thought it was the right shot in the moment and then afterwards someone said, hey, what about this? And you were like, oh, crap, that would have been way easier. With me, I, not, not many times. <laughs> the ego on this guy. <laughs> not many times, guys. No, but that's my point. It's because you play all I the time. I may miss a ball. Know... I may miss a ball. But... Yeah, but you know your percentages. You know, like, in that moment what shots you're no, shooting No, 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 well. for sure, for sure. It would be different shots for me and you. You know, somebody prefers to slow roll the, game, the ball and somebody mm -hmm. likes to go four rails on the same exact shot. Right, yeah. I know a guy named Robert Aldana. I'm almost sure he's in the chat right now. He, he loves going three to four rails with every shot because he can let out a stroke. And he'll punch the ball super hard. Yeah. And, and get the cue ball to move like crazy because he feels more confident on the pot with that type of stroke. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. But that's that's a little bit different. Sure. A little bit. Ugh. Ooh, talk about stun run through, kind of. Stun forward. Kind of uh, almost cheated the pocket too much for that shot. Yeah, he's still okay. A little stretch, needs an extension. Hey, Jerry, who's playing on table 28? Eight to six on table 28. 
Rafa Nadal will be in town. I think he is playing uh, Carlos Alcaraz in Vegas today. Oh, okay. What do you think of that? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm a big tennis fan, so... Uh, I not. actually actually thought that I have a day off today. And thought uh, you were going to go watch? I, I was going to go somewhere, and probably that would be my number one to-go thing. Uh, I always wanted to go watch Rafa play, and, you know, playing against Alcaraz would be, even if it's an exhibition match. Yeah. So it's 4-2. to two. Apologies. <coughs> Yeah, I don't really follow anything, any sport, any game outside a pool anymore. Now that I'm doing this stuff. No time. I'll tell you what, this room is growing on me, though. Like soft spot wise. Like hard times is the nuts for me. Yeah. Like aside from the obvious reasons. Well. But I like this I like this room a lot. Where's the cue all going? Oh, 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 oh. got a fortunate did kiss there, but did he make a ball? Both of the balls that were headed towards the side pocket did the exact same thing as each other when they hit the side <laughs> pocket. Watch it. It's it's actually uncanny. What happened with those balls? That's crazy. You'll get a crack up out of it when you see it. <laughs> okay. Okay, here it is. Looking at the six and the, the eight. Six and the eight, yeah. Six? Eight. Wow. <laughs> what are the odds? A lot too little. Yeah. There's some matches of round winner round two being played already. Mario he's up two to zero against Botter. Alawadi. They played not too long ago. Uh, I believe in the uh, Premier League Series tournament before uh, World Championships. Daniel Masio and Stephen Holm. That's an interesting one. Daniel is a is a. Is Daniel Dece decent favorite? In that is Daniel match. an 800 Fargo? Yeah, he's above 800. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. I thought I was under the impression that he was the pole that was uh, like 780. Is there any Polish player now in that group that plays under 800? Well, that uh, kid that just lost to Eric Herlifson, Simon. He is, uh, I believe, he's like a 740, 750, 760 okay. Fargo. Okay. Um. But all of the Polish players are, you know, close to 800. Wartunski, right. Snigotski. Here's an interesting match. Sharik, Sharik Syed and Sina. Yeah, uh, Cena. Cena had some good, good wins, and uh, yeah, he just recently yeah. won the Swanee. Yeah, and he beat Skyler uh, on the TV table as well. Yeah. Oops, sorry guys, wrong camera. My apologies. Dogged it. Doesn't seem too happy. Yeah, why? 
He wanted to he, stun off the yeah, eight? Yeah, I mean, I guess he doesn't like rolling the ball. But all he has to do here is just roll the ball. Yeah, it seems like the table's rolling pretty true. Yeah, he decided not to, and that's do the, fine, too. Uh, the old inside spin shot. Yeah, that's fine as well. Somebody in the chat asked me what would be the even game of one pocket between me and you. Oh God. <laughs> What would I? What would I genuinely ask for? Did you ever play any of the pros? No, never. Not in one hole. By the way, that shot that he just played on the eight ball is a variation of. May as well show it off. For those of you who don't know or use English often, it's a variation of this shot. No, this shot. My apologies. I hit the wrong one. So the white path here is if you just hit dead center cue ball. Green path is with the English shown. Little nod to those who I know that most of the chat, like very large percent of the chat, is that's pretty quite cool. The, quite the avid player, but for I those might, of you who aren't, I might learn something here. That's what's going on. That video is not for Fetter. What was your question? If we were to play one hole, what would we do? Did I update the score? I suck. No, I didn't. It's five to two. Yeah, it is five to two, and Vitaly is about to break. I would ask for... 18 to four. I was going to say something like 16 or 17 to five or four. Oh, yeah. 16 to five. You got it. You yeah. got it, Collins. I don't Hold know how four. you... Hold me to four. Four I is know, better. I don't know how you play. You play like Molina? Yeah. He and I play even. We play a different style of game, though. Hit it a little flat, and nothing's going in. No pop on the cue ball. The results and no balls on the side. I don't know. Maybe if you play like Molina, I need, you need to go to five. I don't know. I run balls better than Mike does. Oh, shit. But he's better at the moving game. Well, if you run balls better than... You go to five for sure. <laughs> Is he going to leave the window? Is he going to leave the window? The one ball. It's still tough to do much here. Has to go two rails. Hope to go behind the eight, nine, or six with the cue ball. It's a really tricky shot here. Divage, the answer is video editing and uh, and Photoshop. Premiere Pro and Photoshop. Oh, he can send the one behind the seven. Do that all day. But he's scratching. He Ouch. is scratching, baby. And he may get three fouled in that game. Yeah, By the way, I rack. three fouled SVB on the TV table. I three fouled SVB on the TV table yesterday. <laughs> oh, two days ago. <laughs> you happy about that? Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> this guy. Uh, I sound like an amateur. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> oh, that's no way. This is no good. Yeah, because you're not. No way. And oh, Billy, why are even, you sending the one? Yeah, even if he. Gives up ball in hand here. What are you going to do? I mean, run out. But the one ball is big to hit. You can hit it two rails. You can hit it one rail. Yes, exactly. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's ironic, actually. Yeah, FSR, yeah, yeah. FSR, that, yeah. three fouled me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, that's funny.
that's too funny. They'll always keep you honest, man. The chat, the chat. Here's the deal with the chat. The chat always wins, like almost always. So when you have a moment where you beat the whole chat on something, you got to make sure you let them know. Nice hit there by Vitaly. Yeah, he almost, almost made al the ball. Almost made it, yeah. And even if he had sold out the one with what he did with the nine, six, and eight, it's uh, all of a sudden flipped this rack on its head. It's going to be a long rack. The six is wedged. It's in between the eight and nine with no real estate. FSR got three fouled tool, two? No way. By who? By who, yeah. Missed the ball. One ball going down towards the cluster I was just talking about. Oh, he's going to try to thin that one, send the fuel to the short rail. Can you hit it that thin? Yeah, he can. He can also hit the nine. Like, it's fine hitting the nine. I was thinking, what about using this opportunity to come up with some kind of safe and develop the rack? I think it's fine going Yeah, into like the this. Yeah, and then just play the speed of the one ball so it, it's well, behind then, the three. But no, you can't, you can't hide it behind the three. You can hide it behind the eight because it's going to leak out okay. if you hit it thick enough. But I wouldn't go into the six here. I would go to the nine. Because if you go to the six, yeah. See, if you go into the six, then uh -huh. eight ball is the only ball you're hiding the one behind. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And if you go into the nine, then you can hide it behind both balls. And it's a way bigger area to hide the one ball. Yeah. But he didn't hit it hard enough, so. Billy has a edge. He can see up the one ball. He's probably trying to cut it in. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. That's pretty crafty there. Wow. Good shot, Billy. That's like a one pocket shot, actually. It was, yeah. It's a variation of a very common one pocket yep. shot. Yep. Roll it towards your hole. Hide the cue ball in the stack. Yeah, or behind the balls that are next to your opponent's hole. Oh, uh, they just posted it. Uh, Carlos Alcaraz just beat Rafa Nadal. He came back to beat him. Which which guy do you like? The I like Ra I like Rafa Nadal a lot. He's uh, okay. my, he's my uh, Nadal. Okay. He's my idol. Yeah. Yeah. Why is he your idol? What about him makes you m makes him your idol? He's just a just a hard worker. Never gives up. I like his personality. You ever met the guy? No. Nothing? No. What are we doing here? Sending the cue ball... On this, just dropping the cue ball on the seven here? Probably send the one into the nine. To get the, the one to stop? Oh, well, yeah, you can also create. Oh, that's fine, too. You know, you could have you played it to the nine, so you can kind of create an opportunity to later on shoot the one ten mm -hmm. or something. Hey, I just wanted to let everybody know, after this match, we are going to reboot the stream. I, I do have a, a six-hour cap um, that I work with. So that's coming up in about an hour and a half. So as soon as this match finishes, before we go live with the next one, we're going to do a little reboot. Fair warning. Most people idolize a stranger. That's an interesting... Wow. Kicked super long. Ends up scratching. Now what does he decide to do with this 6 and 8 issue here? But that is a problem.
Where did Melina Mike go? Where is he? Find Melina. Find Melina in the room. Golems can find anybody in the room. Nobody is safe. Is he out here or not? I don't think so. I think that the six and eight are, it's too tough to deal with. Well, um, we can break it out from the five. When, when? With the five? If you get a good angle on the yeah, five. You if gotta, you don't, then you play safe. And you got to get a good angle, and, and then when you go into it, you got to get into the, the good part of the six, right? Or would you just go straight into the eight and hit the six towards the corner? And hope that your cue ball slows down enough. I mean, if if you can have the cue ball like right here, and then uh -huh. go two rails, try to break it out from this second and a half. Yeah, so that's my point. Is is he's talking about if you have the cue ball here, and then you play the cue ball like this into the balls. Yes, if you miss it long, then you can also play safe and hook him behind the eight. He's saying if you miss it down here. Then you just hit the six this way, leave the cue ball here. Yep. Um, but the uh, the thing that I'm thinking with that shot is, I guess not very many things can go wrong with it. This is okay, except no, how do you shoot not. the four? No, it's not okay. <laughs> this is okay if, if the cue ball was going up this way. I think he thought the cue ball was going off the balls like this. Yeah, I was trying to hit it thinner on the eight. Yeah. I meant the idea, not, not play, this. Has to play some kind of safety here, I guess. Go behind the seven with the YD and hide the four behind the five. That's my shot. So he was going for the thing where you you try to break out the ball earlier in the rack so you don't have to worry about dealing with the breakout and position on the ball at the same time. Yeah. And it didn't work out in his favor. Maybe. Oh, 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 that's too hard, I think. Played all cue ball, baby. I'm not sure if it worked out. It did not. Oof. I Oof. don't think it did. I think Billy has uh, enough of the ball to make it. All right. I gotta yeah, he does. And Billy misses it. Four ball dresses up by the side pocket. Playing for the side. Collins is out, so I'm by myself again. Let's see if there's anybody in the chat that has a good question. Got quite a big angle on that big angle on that six ball so he has to kill it with the some draw here pretty good shot back to the center of the table Steak, sushi, pork, or chicken? It's sushi. The answer is really easy. I'm a big sushi fan. What kind of wrap is on my cue? I'm using uh, a tennis wrap currently. I've been testing different uh, different tennis wraps. Not really because I'm a Strickland fan, but just because I have sweaty hands and uh, I'd like to have a better grip on my cue. 
and uh, it actually prevents me from sweating so I'm, uh, I'm using a tennis tennis wrap currently That's my impression of Christina's performance last week. She she played really well, and I, I honestly thought that she was going to win the tournament after she beat uh, Chu in that last uh, final match. She beat her 4-1 to in the first set, and then the second set turned her out, and uh, Chu played really, really well, and uh, nothing we can, you can, she could have really done there. Yeah, yeah, I just put it by myself. I bought it on Amazon. Yeah, Chu definitely had some big roles at important moments, but that's that's what it takes in order to win big events you know it's a short race playing nine ball so there's not much really you can analyze a few things that Christina did wrong and you know a few good things that Chu did better than Christina and Billy Billy's cue balls flying off the table again the two ball is a little bit weird I need Collins back in the room so he can update the score it's six to two Vitali. Well, in my opinion, the player, I'm not answering to the question on the opinion on fouls that are not called or missed by the ref. Is that a fault of the player if he didn't call it fouling himself? Uh, I mean, obviously, the ref is there to catch all those fouls. Um, but it's also up to the player to be responsible for oh, some of the calls. Years. All of it? Just like three or four bags? No. No, yeah, people are just setting bags back there. <laughs> it's six to two. <laughs> and I gotta, gotta go to the... Yes, yes, yes. Mike is on his way, so... He's oh. finding somebody to hang out with. So it looks like uh, Mike is gonna come in in a few minutes and, and finish up this match with you guys. And I'm gonna take a quick little break, but... Yeah, where are we at? Vitaly trying to play safe here. Did he get him hooked behind the three? Yeah, good luck getting out of there. Looks like you can see it. And that he could. <clears throat> and now my camera's shaking. I think people are over there... Bumping the counter. It's getting busy in here, guys. It's getting packed. Full packed house. Don't don't scratch off the six. Great shot, never in doubt. Five ball hanging over the corner. GG. Uh, Fetter stepped out, Robert. Fetter's not in the booth anymore. He had to step out. Oh my god, he overcut the ball. 
and it doesn't fall. Heartbreaker. Absolute heartbreaker. I don't know. I, I tried to find you to see if you know. Pardon me, guys, one second. Okie dokie. What's up, M? Welcome to the party, buddy. Real nice cue ball, real nice speed control, keeping the cue ball off the rail with a nice comfortable shot in the 10. Vitaly is uh, I'm really digging his game lately. Digging his game with the Air Jordan pants. Flawless hair. Yeah, no, we can't have stuff like this. No, we can't. No. Okay. Did I you find out who it was? No, I didn't figure out them. They, they can find out. Okay. Cool. Your boy Mike is back. Did anybody, uh, you get anyone on the hook? No. To come in? No. There all. was a couple of people that I was going to ask, but they were in the middle of a conversation. They're I didn't, all too busy. I didn't want to, like, I didn't want to interrupt. So. All too busy what for you. you. Well, we got uh, Vitaly Petsura uh, seven games to two. He's been playing pretty, pretty good lately. Pretty good, yeah. Where is this guy from? I've never heard of him. He's been winning stuff lately. A few things. Not majors, but... Final four, I think, in Derby City Classic. I think one, uh, Federer one, said he got third. One Texas Open, yeah. I think. So Won the mini derby nine ball. He did, the mini derby, yeah. Although I'm not, I'm not really counting bar table stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was bar, bar table. We'll have that ball. debate another day. Okay. But. Pretty solid, though. You know, it's interesting because I haven't seen him really do much in anything outside of rack your own nine ball. So Sure. Turn this up so people down. Sure. Brandon's on the mic announcing some of the uh, raffles we got going on for the event. Some Q Tech stuff and actually a whole bunch of stuff. So. How's your How's your uh, morning been? Afternoon been? Really good. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Made some pretty good matchups. By the way, I got, I don't know if you know who's coming up next on the TV table. Do you know? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a guy who breaks news around here. Wait, let me guess. Am I allowed to guess? Well, I mean, you can't look at the, th you, you can see the, the table. Oh, it assignments. tells you who. Okay, I, mean, I don't that know. That just ruins it. Okay. It ruins it. All right. Paggy Lion and uh, whoever Alex is playing. Alex and, uh, <laughs> I forgot who it is. There you go, Dormer, the young, Dormer. the young, the young German seven, star. Seven seven two. Yeah, kid's playing good. Yeah, it's gonna be a good matchup. So nice. that's gonna be next on the TV table. I'm gonna try to get Carlo and Luca Mann on Windows Open. I'll throw up my phone probably. So I might try to do that. Um, but yeah, no, we're gonna nice. we're gonna run through. I think two sides. Is that good? Oh, beautiful. Right now. That was before. Oh. We're gonna try to uh, run through two rounds on the winner's side, and I think one round on the one loss side today. That's the goal, so. Two rounds on the one loss side? No, one round, I think. We'll come in like around 10.30 to start off with tomorrow, I think. Okay, so, so you said two rounds on the winner's side, one round on the one loss side? I believe, okay. I believe. Then we'll get out of here at a reasonable hour. Uh, that was Midnight my, that, or 11 or something? that was my argument. I said, my, my boy's gotta go to sleep. You know, you've been here since before dawn. Yeah, so, I got here around 5.30. Really? Oh, 5.15. I, I would have said let's go till 2 o'clock in the morning if I knew that. Okay, yeah. I thought yeah. you got here like at 4. 
Uh, I left the I left the hotel at four thirty, and then I got I went to Denny's because I had to have some coffee and some fuel. Dude, you went to Denny's. You couldn't even like. I you were. Even, you were. Don't don't be don't, don't, don't be. I've, I've been real sleepy. I've been real was, sleepy. I've been real sleepy lately. He was in bed like. <laughs> Listen, it's been a rough... I've been out here... I've been on the road a lot since January, buddy. All right? I mean, a lot. I've been exhausted. All right? All right. Putting all my business out there. Anyway, back to the match. <clears throat> Ooh, right in time for a little bit of drama, trying to just pop a perfect stun shot. Did you see that? Cue ball stopped completely dead. No spin, nothing. Just stopped like it was a... a like a cartoon animation. Jars the ball. Yeah. Uh, what were we just talking about, though, right before? Um, you are putting all my business out there about me snoring in the room. No, man. no, no. Oh, reasonable hour tonight, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, one, no, yeah. No, it's yeah. going to be... Uh, so we'll probably do one more six-hour section then. No, maybe a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, at, like I said earlier, after this match, we are going to reboot the stream um, just in case there were any joiners recently billy thorpe trying to make some match of this he's been playing pretty good lately yeah this match i haven't seen any of this match though so i don't know he's uh scratched on the break once he's sent the cue ball off the table on the break once he's had a couple of unlucky situations um, oh, look at this but yeah it's it's been i would say not comfortable okay to say the least he's gonna go grab the uh the old extension out of his camouflage fatigue colored Q case. Well, let me tell you, Ike, I see your comment there in the chat. <clears throat> Collins is on high alert every time my phone is out these days. That guy, <laughs> he is scarred for life. Yeah. After Sacramento, but it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. For good reason. This is my listen. We we're family, you know. So I. Uh, On that note, um, can I leave you alone in here for a little bit? I'll be fine. Are you gonna you know how to keep score? Yeah. The only thing is that um, updating the names for the uh, next match. Well, I'll be in here when this match ends. Oh, so we're gonna you're gonna because I have to kill the stream and reboot it. Yeah. Oh, so you're staying through then? No, I'll be back. Okay, okay, go do your thing. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Thanks, guys. You got the chat right here. You got the scoreboard down here. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. 7-3. Billy Thorpe trying to get back in. It's going to be tough, man, when you're in a hole like this, especially if you got a guy who's breaking the ball as well, which I haven't seen uh, Vitaly break the ball, so I'm not sure. Um, but you can say a lot of things about Billy's game, positive, um, but you can also say the kid's got a lot of heart. So... Um, He's going to keep on fighting, that's for sure. Doesn't got any quit in him. And look at that. The two ball kind of hangs in the pocket. Got a shot on the one ball. He's got some rhythm in his step here. I will not be posting that picture of Collins, though, because he got real in his feelings about that after last time. So we will we'll try to keep it positive. <laughs> Good shot there from Billy. Important rack for sure. Obviously, the guy's only two racks away from winning, so um, Billy's got to do whatever he can to just maintain, and hopefully he gets a little lucky here. Nice shot there. Uh, yeah, I think he's got a lot more angle than maybe what he anticipated here. I don't know if he can hold this ball or if he's going to come back twice across. We shall see. Yeah, he's coming across. Hits the ball well. Good shot. Put a little bit of mustard on that one. And he got right where he needs to get to. I think he can draw off one rail and come back and shoot the five in the same pocket here. Yeah, just like that. Very, very well. He wants angle. He doesn't want to end up straight because he's got to get on the seven ball. I don't know. Getting a little dicey. We appreciate all you guys for hanging out with us, hanging out with Collins and Fetter, and we're going to have a lot more um, special guests stopping by the booth besides um, besides me or 
whoever. So um, try to take advantage of having all these players, all these great players underneath one roof. So not sure if he got here on the 7. Kind of hard to tell with his body language. He's gearing up, though. Oh, yeah, he can see it then. You can tell right away by how he's cueing the ball. You can see it. Nice shot there. Nice shot there. Doesn't end up on the rail. I tell you, ever since I've seen Billy start to play with that uh, with that kill with Shaft, he's just had a whole new rhythm to his game. Which is great. Oh, Savannah. Yeah, we can get Savannah in here for sure. Yeah, no doubt. Matter of fact, that's not a bad idea. Let me see if I can text... Papa Easton, see if we can get her on in here. I'm dogging the scoreboard. Okay, so Billy got that one. Give me one second here, guys. Collins can't leave me alone here for two minutes. I've got to check my phone here. Let me text Larry. See if she can come in. All right. Rack number 12. Opening day, U.S. Open 10-ball championship, $10,000 added. The payouts are out. I have not posted them yet. We're working on a flyer to get those out. Hopefully, we can get them up by later tonight or at the earliest um, tomorrow. But I can tell you guys what they are if you give me a second. I think we got Savannah on her way over here, too, which is awesome. So you ask and you shall receive if we can make it happen. All right, $9,000 first place. Second place gets 4,200. Third place, 28. Fourth place, 21. 1,500 for fifth, six, And we'll have all the payouts posted so that way you guys can see them. $28,900 in total, not including some of the side pots that, that players got into. So pretty nice little payday for three days. Dry break, and Billy's going to get a chance here, and he's going to get a shot on the one. Six, eight is going to be a problem, but... He's got at least the chance to come on in here. There she is. Come on, have a seat here, young lady. It's a little warm. It's a little warm, not gonna lie. Yeah, I was gonna take off the jacket too. Yeah, yeah. Out there, it's a, yeah, there's a lot of people here. I don't need to introduce you, but since you're just walking in, I'm gonna introduce you. We got the road runner herself, Savannah Easton. Hi, everybody. Yeah, say hello. How was your uh, first match? Wow, I'm surprised Billy went that route. Okay. Terrible. Terrible? Who'd you play? Uh, Is that a sore subject to bring up? Dennis, he played in the World Juniors. He's a really strong player, don't get me wrong. He played good, but... Dennis? I just, I just put, I didn't play good. Uh, yeah, I can't pronounce his last name. You want to bring your mic down a little bit? Yeah. Dennis. No, he's a strong player. He's like a 760, I think. But, yeah, I had some chances. I just didn't play the best. I'm playing Yap next, though. I saw I'm that. so excited. I saw that. Are I, you? I mean... Mostly because I, I want to play him. Just because I like his game. He's a great player. I like his game a lot. So. He's I love the way he delivers on the queue. He's, yeah, exactly. He like, lost his opening round as well, losing to Victor, surprisingly. I saw that. Yeah. That was crazy. No, I thought it would be a bit closer, honestly. But. Well, I'll give you some inside information here. All right, okay. he's not he's not feeling so hot, so I think that's he's a little been a little under the weather. Really? So you may have more of a shot than what you were thinking of going oh, into shoot. it. You okay. know? There you go. It's game I just, time I now. I think I just need to hit a couple more balls, maybe. Well, they changed the cloth, so have you had any have you had any time to? I was here for two days straight. Oh wow. Okay. There you go. But, there you um, go. I don't know. I just didn't start off that great. Nice safety there by Billy. He yeah. addressed the problem of the 6-8. And now, Vitaly's in trouble here. What do you like, kid? What? What do you like here on the three? Or what would you do? He's calling it a sign. Ooh. I guess he's yeah, trying to go two I, rails. If it goes two rails, if it goes past the eight, I didn't know it goes past the eight. Yeah, it looks like you really got to bend it. Oh, yeah. He's yeah, he's jacking up on it. 
Yeah, I think that's the only way he can go. Even he fouled. Yeah. And he's going to open everything up here. And this is the chance that Billy Thorpe needed. Yeah. If Billy, Billy broke and ran, I think, the last game. So if he can get this one down and have a good one the next one, he's right back in it. Yeah, I know. I mean, seven. Well, let's say he gets his rack. Seven five. Yeah, is seven very, five. Yeah. Very far away. Manageable, at yeah. least. Especially with alternate break. But that alternate break, it's hard to come back, you know? It is. But it is. But I think it adds a different layer of pressure. I was picking up there. He's right here in front of us. Hold we on, there. Right what here. are they? What are they discussing here? I don't know. They're having some kind of uh, no debate. But anyway. Maybe he's thinking he didn't foul. I'm pretty. If that's the question, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty I mean, sure the eight ball moved. <laughs> pretty sure. I mean. Uh, right? I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty I, sure. listen, it's been a long a long couple of weeks for me, but I just I'm curious why they're having Sometimes my eye eyesight isn't the best, but I'm pretty sure that eight yeah. Well, you got younger eyes than me, young lady. I'll tell you that. So Yeah, but I still need my contacts. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Okay. It is warm, yeah. It is. So much machinery in here. Okay, let me um let me go see what's going on and then here we go. They're questioning the hit or something on 20. Okay, let me go find out what's going on. You yeah. you man the ship. I'll be back. Okay. Might be a little quiet here because I kind of need mic for my partner in commentating. I don't know why they would question it though. I'm reading these comments. I don't know why they would question it. I mean, it was so obvious. I'm pretty sure it <laughs> they. Uh, guys, uh, yeah, I'm not going to get into that foul or combination thing the other day. I'm trying to put that behind me. I am playing in all of the events. I'm playing, let's see, there's this 10 ball. I am on the one loss side and I have to play Yap, so I don't like my chances right now, but, and then on Wednesday, I think starts the eight ball, then, mm, I don't know, I think it was Saturday, starts the banks, and then there's the one pocket for the last one, and fun fact, uh, that's going to be my first one pocket and banks tournament, like real tournament. What kind of cue am I using? I'm using a Lukasi. A uh, Q with a fuse shaft, and it has a carbon core, and it's a Q wood. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it was pretty obvious as a foul. I'm kind of confused, right? Are they really discussing this? I'm a little, uh, I don't know if there's a replay on here, and I'm not going to mess with any of the buttons, but, wow, he's not taking ball in hand. That was obviously a foul. That's crazy. Maybe Billy looked away for a second, but still, that was such an obvious foul. Arguing about the foul? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. No That's way. What it well, it wasn't so. Hang on, let me let me hop in here. Okay, so the debate wasn't whether or not that it was that he that obviously the eight ball moved first. The problem was that he used it. He hit it with the shaft, and they're playing cue ball fouls only. So Vitaly was saying, "Well, it's not a foul if I hit it with the shaft, and it wasn't in the path of what? the cue ball." No, so but he hit the he hit the. Okay, well Billy just. Yeah, I mean, look, still. if if Billy would have pressed it, then we would have continued to have a debate. Billy was like, you know what, it's fine, and just wanted to move on. So I, no, we just kind of left it alone. Yeah. So crazy. yeah, if we're if we're playing cue ball fouls only, we went to go back and re and rewatch it, and he moved it with the shaft. So. Yeah, but still. I'm yeah, I'm listen. Uh, I'm, it was like directly hit the eight, like no matter even if he didn't hit the. Yeah, I mean you're moving the ball. 
with the shot, you know. So I mean, I guess if Billy's okay with it, I mean that's pretty much important. But still, for sure, for a sure, surprising. I get. I, by the way, if you need a call, mate, I'm the bad guy of the tournament. So, <laughs> oh, and he hangs oh. the, and he hangs the five ball. Is he gonna get away with it? Did. This is deep, though. Even if he can see the ball. Yeah, I know. This is tough. You know, these pockets, if if anyone's ever been to Griff's, these pockets were really tight. But since they refelted it the other day, I think. A lot more it, forgiving? It, yeah, I know. They don't play tight at all. Yeah. I mean, they're still like rattled. They'll rattle a couple balls like right. that or something. But it wasn't as bad as before. Yeah, the tables are playing perfect right now for the most part. Perfect speed and everything. Well, they, they spared no expense. They made sure. And I'll tell you what, I came like. Yeah, they even got a new set of balls every 16. Yep, shout out to Diamond because they're the ones who provided the new sets of balls for the event. Yeah, that's crazy. Really appreciate that. Well, I guess you need the best equipment for the best players. We got a nice turn. Wow, oh, nice shot there, but the cue ball hops off. There's not going to be any debate on this one. It's going to be... It's going to be... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be ball and handle. I'll tell you what, I ain't going out there if they call me, Savannah. I'll tell you that. So, um, oh, you called me? Hmm? Well, we all were watching the shot and we saw that it was the shaft that had moved it. And then yeah. the debate, the argument was, well, it wasn't in the path of where the cue ball was going after the fact. And Billy accepted it. So I just walked, you know, said, OK, uh, so it's good. I'm not going to I'm not going to continue pressing it. So um, as long as the players are fine with it, then I'm good with it. You know, so. Um, I thought he was going to jump it real first. I don't know if it was too On that deep last though. shot? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it was too deep though, maybe. Or I saw Yap do a shot like that earlier to start off his first round oh, match where he had a ball like deep and and just a good shot there. Nice full hit. I didn't see it. I was too busy losing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's got jokes. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, it's uh Yeah, blame me. I'm 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 low hanging fruit here. But you know what? It's fine. We uh we're going to do what we can, given the technology that we have available, the rules that are in place, and a little bit of common sense. So, Maybe a little short here. I think he's good. He's going he's gonna to let the cue ball go. But yeah. Is there a replay button? Do you guys have one? I think he does have one set up, finally, because I made sure to... I wanted to make sure that was uh, a part of it. So I'm pretty sure he either... I'm pretty sure it's set up. I don't know how to do it, though. So, either way, yeah, we're not going to be able to please everyone. What are you going to do? You know, so. <laughs> yeah, it's cue ball foul only, but still, I can't believe they didn't call foul no. Yeah, now I'm getting messages about it too, which is great. So, it's Already? beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Wow, he played the bank. I am surprised he did not cut that ball in. I mean, Billy and Sky, you know, are the I get it, but dynamic duo for the yeah. banks, but still, I'm a little surprised he didn't cut that too. Yeah. Maybe he just felt more comfortable with the bank. Yeah, I mean, he obviously liked the way that it laid. I just, usually when you have that much angle, I, I, I don't see a lot of players shying away from the cut you know and then just letting the cue ball rip a little bit so I, think he, I mean judging on where he played the cue ball he probably wants to like hit it uh, under hit it so it gets back to that top rail the nine ball but it looks like vitaly will take the what rack is this rack number 12 yeah rack yep number 12. let's see player number to get on the hill too this is a big game big big game eight four eight four and billy looks a little a little frustrated i get it there we go all right Big matchup on deck if you guys are just tuning in. A couple things to address. Number one, uh, Collins is going to reboot the stream. So make sure after this match is over to refresh, re-like, re-share. Really helps us out.
Big shout out to all of our sponsors that help put this on as well. Second thing is, next TV table match, Alex Pagulain versus the young German star, uh, Dormer. So that's going to be a really good one as well. Good shot. It's tough. I don't know what he's going to do here, especially given where the two's at. But he makes makes three balls on the break. Yeah. yeah, that was set pretty perfect the way it is safe. The thing he really had to focus on was just game between the side pocket and the eight ball. Oh, he can see it, can he? Or is, no, he can't. No, a nine ball. Yeah, he might just kick it two rails and come underneath. Call the one in the side, maybe. Oh, yeah, he can see it. Never mind. He can, yeah. I think he was looking how the cue ball was going to come off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pretty so unfortunate to get in that window if I you're know, billing, yeah. you know? And he left it, I think, perfect to just thin it for the two ball. It's just like that. Just, just want it to go in. Yeah, he left. He left the window for Billy. Yeah, so he's calling the Karen for the two. They want to judge me, I'll testify. Catch me on hits that I'll verify. They want me quiet, I amplify. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. And these, wow, that's... Billy Thorpe is playing aggressive, that's for sure. Can you guys have Francisco slight favor here? Can Francisco lose? He might be a little bit behind. Yeah, Fran lost to Shane earlier. It was a first matchup to start the day. It's crazy. I mean, not for Shane and FSR, obviously, but yeah. That's crazy. To right. Wow, uh, double kiss. He's going to get away with it, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's a race. I don't know. I've never really played like a pro men's event, so like. Really? Yeah, I'm not, like not an, really a pro men's event, like a pro pro, like, you know, as many pros. I mean, you got world champions, in the, multiple oh, yeah, world champions yeah. in this field. But. Well, that's a, that's yeah, a. It's like a whole different game you have to for play, sure. you know. For sure. It'll, it'll help you out, though. Yeah. You know, it'll that's help your game out. Why I, this. I was talking with Brandon, who's um, the manager here. And, uh, you know, we were talking about you before we came over, and I said, yeah, any event that we have at Griff's, you're in it, yeah. you know? So yeah, he puts me that's pretty awesome. With, he gets all the entries. Yeah. Good sponsor to have for you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Especially given the how busy this this yeah, room is. exactly. Griff's is just amazing, Yeah, you know? yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, big jump shot here. Shot. Maybe like try that. to pull your mic down just a little bit. See if that'll help out. Can't says it can't hear Savannah. Can you hear me now? How about now? But like those shots that Vitelli left for the jump shot, I found out you cannot leave those for any of these men. No. They can jump it so easily. I think it was good containing. You know, you just got to make sure. Yeah, and yeah. All things considered, he wasn't in the best position no matter what, you know, so you just got to do what you can. And in Billy's case, you know, he came out the better of it, but he does not like it. I think he's straight because yeah. he does his body language and the way I'm sure he said a four letter word. Just <laughs> <laughs> I wonder which one it would be. He's coming around three rails and he's not going to get there. Yeah. I mean, he's got to take on this bank, right? He's been playing every bank up until this point. He's got to be a favorite here to put this straight back down. Oh, yeah. He's probably definitely banking this. If right. not, he'll maybe thin the 8 and try to get the 8 where the 10 is and just key ball down table. He's calling it. Or up table. Yeah. He's going for the bank. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. Uh -oh, okay. He, it enough, maybe. he needs that ball to go, though. Well, he left the shot here. 
And Vitaly's calling it. It's three I balls. Saw the way he was aiming up, it didn't look like he was banking it. Well, it looked like he called it at the beginning, and then when he aimed, you knew he was hitting the left side of the ball. Yeah. So, um, but he didn't hit it as quite as thin he want, as he wanted it. Right. This is still a tough shot, though, but Vitaly, I've seen him play, so I've seen him drill this a lot. Tough shot still, though. Very tough. For Billy, it was real important to get that cue ball on the rail. Yeah. So, just Probably time to bear down, rails, bear down. Just like that. And that's a great shot oh, from Vitaly. He does. It. He's still all right. Wow. Wow. It's a little chilly. All right, you guys. <clears throat> If Vitaly does put these down, make sure to hit the refresh button. Collins should be back in here any second. We're going to come back live with uh, Alex Pagulayan versus Yuma Dormer up next on the TV table. You going to be able to hang out some more? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I, don't, I have a yeah. while to my next match. And that is game, set, and match. All right, you guys, let me go get Collins. You all hang tight. We're going to step out of here, and we'll be back here pretty soon, you guys. All right, let's take a break. guys I'm gonna do a really fast reboot before these guys get on the table I'm just gonna put the stream down long enough to change the names and I'll be back in about two to three minutes maybe maybe four but I should be up in time before these guys lag so uh, make sure you're subscribed if you're watching on YouTube make sure you're following if you're on Facebook Heck, if you're watching on Facebook, get over to YouTube and subscribe as well. Uh, if you see any ads over there, it helps support the channel. So, um, yeah, I'll be back in just a few minutes. And uh, we'll be on for round two. Alex Pagulayan versus Yuma. I don't remember his last name, but it's the first time that I will have been watching him play. So I'm excited to see how he plays. We'll see you guys in just a few minutes.